In the beginning, this reality was empty. Then out of that emptiness, two gods were formed, Domi and Nobis. Together, they weaved together the astral plane and constructed the foundation of all worlds within it. However, after creating the cosmos, they decided to form life. From this, the first living beings were made and christened as the beasts of creation. Domi and Nobis were pleased with their work, but Nobis grew curious. Nobis approached Domi with a simple question. What if we could create more beings like us? Both were fascinated with the idea and attempted to generate another god. But not even they could perform such a feat. Nobis spent a millennia thinking of ways to create divine beings, but could not find an answer. Domi then came to Nobis with a new thought. If we cannot create other gods, let us become them. And the first division occurred. From Domi came the four elemental gods. Madiri, god of earth, Luft, god of air, Vafra, god of fire, and Amanzi, god of water. From Nobis came the three gods of order, Ril, god of life, Olum, god of death, and Kokobi, god of the stars. These seven gods built off the foundation that was laid before them and created the various planes. Kokobi seemed to inherit the curiosity from Nobis and proposed a second division. There was much debate among the seven, but in the end, they agreed to further divide. Many more gods were formed with more specific roles related to the gods they came from. The planes were formed even further by these new divine. However, that strand of curiosity from Nobis was passed down further into Sol, god of the sun. However, Sol had a new idea. Instead of dividing into gods with preordained rules, what would happen if the gods were allowed to decide for themselves what domain they want to rule. This idea brought conflict among the gods. Some believed this would be an irresponsible decision and were worried about what would happen if one god decided to not fill a necessary role. In the end, Sol led many gods into a third division while the rest stayed where they were. The new gods that spawned brought chaos at first, but quickly found what their domains would be. The new gods added more to the planes than any previous division. And finally, they all declared that their work on the world was done. Before returning to the Astral Sea, Salem, the god of the hunt, decided to add one more feature to the planes. He hid pockets of unimaginable treasures that even tempted the gods. However, the treasures were hidden so well that not the gods or anyone who roamed the plains could ever find them. Or at least that was true until 300 years ago. A group of treasure hunters, nicknamed Greeters, found one of Salem's treasures and were rewarded with more gold than they could ever want. This discovery shook the world to its core, and everyone set out to find their own grand treasure. As of today, only one other grand treasure has been found, but there are many people still searching, searching for one grand treasure to call their own. So you smell that? This is the smell of a brand new campaign. It's got that new campaign smell. It smells like Cheetos and Mountain Dew. Uh, <laughs> hello, everybody. We are Cheaper by the Dungeon, and this is our very first episode of our new campaign. Um, if you haven't listened to our previous stuff, we have some prologues, but you don't have to listen to those. Those are just bonus. But you should. Uh, you should. Yeah, they were very good. <laughs> you really, you, you really, really should. should. So I am. Very my name is. Very, yeah, very. My name is Seth, and I am the dungeon master for this campaign. Uh, to my left, in the virtual world, because we're not together, <laughs> uh, is is Connor. Say hi, Connor. Well, hey uh, I'm Connor. I don't know what else to say. He's going to be playing <laughs> the character Darian Branch, and that's all for now. Heck yeah. 
to Connor's left in the virtual world is Jacob. Oh, this yes, this is Jacob. I see Connor to my right, Seth's in front of me, uh, <laughs> and here I am. <laughs> here we go. And Jacob is going to be playing Zippy Westboro. Uh, and finally, Adam. Well, hello there. It is a pleasure to meet you. Hi, I'm, oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm Adam. I don't actually sound like that. This is me. Hi. And he plays Norman D. Yes. Uh, D stands for demon, as we all know. <laughs> um, and that's it. So, yeah. All right. So just to set the world for anybody who hasn't listened uh, up till this point. So the world is called Ohm. Uh, this is a treasure hunter campaign. Uh, so basically the main plot so far is that there was a god named Salem who hid pockets of unimaginable grand treasures all throughout the world of Ohm. Uh, two have already been found. The first one was 300 years ago before this campaign started. And it was a massive pile of gold. Uh, and the people who found it built a city on top of that pile in that grand treasure, and they named it Orem. And it's the biggest, most influential city in the whole world now. Uh, the second grand treasure that was found was only found 50 years ago uh, in the deserts, but we don't know anything about it other than that. Uh, our characters, our three characters, are currently outside the southern border of Orem. Uh, and they're going to be trying to get in, uh, but there's a very steep price, a thousand gold per entry, and they don't have it, so they got to get some. A thousand uh, gold? They all... Yeah, I know. Wow, that's a lot. It's unruly. But Zippy, Darian, and Normandy all want to get into Orem uh, to join the Greeters Guild, and the Greeters, are... the Greeters Guild is the guild for treasure hunters uh, because they all have their own dreams and goals that they want to achieve. So that's basically the gist of everything up to this point. Uh, let's go in. Let's dive in. All right. So, the three of you find yourself inside a large cloth tent. You are all a part of this circle of various rough and tough looking individuals. And you're also not sitting next to each other. You guys don't know each other yet. Uh, Darian's to the far right. Uh, Normandy, you're kind of near the back or the entrance to the tent. And Zippy is with his two friends, Blackjack and Yogurt, the two tabaxi cats that he met in his prologue. Uh, and he's sitting with them over on the left <laughs> side of the tent. Uh, but around you in between are all these rough, tough, baddest looking guys uh, in, in all of Ohm. But in the center of this circle, there is a dwarf man with glasses just pacing back and forth. Uh, he glances over to the tent's entrance, and a human appears and gives a nod. And he says, All right, let's get started. So, uh, I'm very glad you were all able to make it here today. Uh, I know many of you are itching to get into Orem, uh, and we are going to do our best to make that happen for every single one of you. Uh, for introductions, my name is Beryl, uh, and I will be organizing this raid today. Uh, to ensure this meeting goes smoothly, I have uh, prepared this. And he raises uh, just a really dumb-looking rock. If rocks could look dumb, this is the dumbest one. And it, he raises it into the air. Uh, this is uh, the talk rock. The rule is, for this meeting, uh, you may only speak when you are holding the rock. So if you would like to get the rock, just raise your hand. Sound good? Darian raises his hand. Oh, we got... What? You did it right. Here you go. Here's the rock. Uh, hi. Hello. I'm Darian Branch. Uh, just a quick question. You, you said your name was barrel like do you mean like a, a wooden barrel or, or like a keg uh it happens all the time uh no it's more like a berry with an l on the end barrel oh that's um an interesting name i hate my right. parents and <laughs> <laughs> it gets real awkward uh, in the I'm tent s- uh i believe i'm holding the rock oh sorry oh. uh we'll we'll say that's a we'll say that's a freebie on me give me the rock back all and he right. takes the rock back I t- yeah, I toss it back. From this moment on, anybody who speaks without the rock, uh, just don't do it, okay? And an orc with a face covered in scars speaks up and says, uh, I-, I think we- we're all mature enough to speak with... Ah! And you see a sword is protruding from his chest as the life of the orc has been snuffed out. The oh, orc's boy. body slumps to the floor, and a tiefling with an eye patch over their right eye and a missing horn emerges from behind, slowly wiping the blood off their blade. 
I use uh, I use thaumaturgy and I make my voice sound like it's coming from across the room and I say, Well that's one way to make a point. The everyone's eyes like are they're all very scared because somebody just died because they didn't talk with the rock. And they hear the voice coming and the tiefling like lunges at it where where the voice is, but nothing's there, but he's stabbing the air. <laughs> oh shoot. Holy Um <laughs> Oh my poor bunny ears. <laughs> and then the tiefling's eyes go blood red as he turns to Zippy Westboro, the little Lapine bunny man. Uh and, and he's oh, like dear, just yogurt. about to lunge. And and Beryl speaks up. He's yogurt, like, hey, I hey, think hey. I'm <laughs> You got something to say? You got more stuff to say as this guy's gonna pounce <laughs> on you? Yogurt, I don't okay. think I should have I should have messed messed with these people. The tiefling jumps in the air, raising its sword, and Beryl stops him. He grabs him in the middle of the air and throws him to the ground. And Beryl's just like, okay, okay, okay. Uh maybe oh, talking rock isn't gonna work with this group. Zippy! I know you from before. I recruited you for this. Just shut up for one moment. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I I don't, it's hand. just it's just <laughs> Well, clearly this group cannot figure out the talking rock. Usually it goes quite well. I raise my hand. (laughs) Thank you, Normandy. Here is the rock. And And Normandy, you have it. Um, What do you want to do? Thank you. My name is Normandy, and I'm looking forward to working with you all. Now listen, I say we just all remain quiet and we hear what the plan is. And I toss the rock back to Beryl. Barrel catches it and says, "Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, could I have the rock first? You have to raise your. Oh, here you go, Zippy. And the tiefling is like foaming at the mouth on the floor, like that. Like Barrel has a foot over top of the tiefling because the tiefling is ready to kill you because you're talking and not following the rules. I would please, please. I would just like the rock, please. The tiefling is just foaming and going, <laughs> and and uh, you have the rock though. You have it now." All right. Hi, uh, my name's Zippy Westboro. Uh, I yeah, came that's here Zippy. My that's my friend Zippy. Bla- yogurt pipes up. Oh, shoot. Thank- Our- yogurt, we have to play by the rules, remember. Blackjack puts right, his hand um- on top of the rock as well that you're holding. Uh, and he's like, hey, if we're all holding the rock, everyone could talk. Everybody, hold the rock. And all the gr- grizzly men are like, uh, 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 and everybody wait, starts surrounding I, I would- Zippy, and everybody has a hand on the rock. <laughs> wait a minute. I would just like to speak. Uh, I would. Too. I would just like. I, I want to. I can speak too. For, a voice comes for, from the crowd. No, <laughs> I would just like to apologize for for the ruckus I just made. Uh, I don't mean any harm to anyone. My name's Sippy Westboro. I'm from the Bramble Patch. I don't know if you've heard much about it, um, but in uh, unit, I like to. Uh, in unison, the whole group just says "Hi, Zippy," like it's like an AA meeting or something. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, hi, uh, thank you. Um, uh, I, again, I just want to apologize. Uh, I, I'm quite new to this area, and uh, I, I'm, I'm willing to make so many friends. My, my goal is to get into Orem, uh, but bo- boy, it's just so nice to meet all of you. Uh, all of you are so very different. Uh, let's go around, actually. Well, well, all our hands are on this now. Everyone, put your hands on. Oh, my. Well, everybody's hands are already on the rock. No, no, I see some people in the back that are hesitating. No, come closer. <laughs> You're right. There are some people in the back that, that are like, I don't want to get in on that. But they're like, okay, he makes a point. And they put their, put their hands on the... This, I got to say, this is not going how I thought it would already. All right. Uh, everybody all right, on the rocks. Right, and you want right, them now, all to shout their names out? No, no, no. Uh, I, I would like everyone to give about five minutes for themselves each. All right. I know there's a lot of people here. Um, starting oh with gosh. you, my friend. What was your name? Your name was, uh, uh, James? You're... <laughs> <laughs> now we're just making stuff up. Okay, uh, uh, this, this, uh... uh <laughs> this, I'm waiting for James. This, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't James. mean to this cut this off, but... James has I'm to the... give his reply. I have, yeah, okay, I'll give him... This half-orc with a curly mustache and slicked back hair... Uh, just appears with his gray skin. He puts a gray palm on the rock and says, 
Yes, uh, yes, I'm James. Uh, I, I got picked out of my butlering job in uh, Orem, and I would very much like to return to my home, uh, maybe find a new butlering gig. Uh, that is kind of my backstory. I had a wife, she died. Uh, I have two kids, I don't know where they are. I'm a very tragic man. My name is James Jameson, and uh, I, I too am looking forward to working with all of you. Uh, thank you. Oh, James, James, I would like to just say that was so nice. Uh, we're all here supporting you. Uh, it's, it's very nice to have you. Uh, all right, now you, you scary looking, looking man. I, I think you said you're- I'm name sorry, was I don't, Dar- I don't Darian. mean to inter- I don't, I don't mean to interrupt this, but I feel like if we, if we go through every single person in this room, we're, we're gonna miss the opportunity that, that we have here. So if, if I might ask that seems, we, uh. It's your turn right now. I, I'm giving uh, you the opportunity. Okay. Beryl and speaks as, up. As, as my... Beryl speaks up from behind. A uh, Beryl isn't touching the rock or anything. They're just face palming in the corner and they start screaming. They're like, okay! I, uh, okay! This, this has gotten weird. Take the rock! Get it out! He just runs in, grabs the rock, and he throws it out the tent. He's like, no more rock! No more! Guys, we gotta focus! Two hours! We only have two hours, and then the raid! The, we gotta raid! We gotta get the get you into Orem! Two hours, okay? We gotta go now! We don't have time for backstories, even though James is very tragic! <laughs> Alright, can we all just calm down for five seconds as I explain what we have to do? Do you agree, or do you disagree? I would just like to... Uh, uh... I would like to apologize once again for making such a ruckus. I I didn't mean any of this to happen. It was all just a, a wonderful idea. Blackjack, can you please? And Blackjack's like, I, I got I got this, I got this. And Blackjack just puts a, a hand over your mouth as you keep talking. Um. <laughs> um, okay, I, the room kind of quiets down, <laughs> finally. And, and Beryl recollects their composure. And says, uh, okay, okay, so that didn't work. Let me just give you the information as quick as possible, and we'll get out of here, and we'll never see each other again, hopefully. Here's the deal. We've received information that a caravan of upper-class folk are traveling from the south back up here to Orem. And as you all know, to get into Orem, there is quite a pricey fee. It's about a 1,000 gold to be exact. Uh, but there is another way to pay the fee, and that's by using a PayPass card. Uh, these are gold cards uh, made so that you can enter into Orem without paying the fee every time. They're pretty valuable. Only the rich have these, but thankfully, that's who we are going to take them from. So here's the plan. Uh, just south of here is the chasm, is the breathing chasms. They're kind of a maze of very narrow pathways that lead to here. Uh, we are going to wait near the exit of the chasm, and a team of magic users will block their path while the rest of us repel into the chasm with smoke bombs attached to our backs. If we all do this at the right time, we can cause mass confusion and stealthily retrieve and leave with everyone having a card. That's pretty simple. Did anybody... I shouldn't even ask. Does anybody have any questions? Any questions? I do have I do have one question. Um, the the people in the the caravans uh, are they assholes? That's hard to to say, but if I had to guess, probably they're nobles. Well, if I'm being completely honest, it really didn't change anything. I just was curious. All right. <laughs> Any further questions? No. Um. Yes. Uh, how many? How many assholes exactly? How many assholes exactly? Because two assholes doesn't make doesn't make a, a, a right. Is that how it goes? Oh dear, I get so confused. I'm just I I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'm sorry. Barrel's like but I don't know. He does have. A, this is a valid question. I guess if I had to guess, like forty assholes. I say, I say, um. Beryl, are these, um, uh, what kind of weapon we are we expected to face when we do this? Probably not much. Maybe a few guards with, like, simple swords, but I don't think they're being protected very heavily. I think they're just being sherpaed through the chasm, uh, by a guide. So probably, par- probably very light. Everybody good? Okay. 
should we st- should we stretch beforehand? Sorry, I just uh, I I think it's important that we that we all stretch and make sure that when we wake up the next morning, uh, that we're not feeling achy or um or uh, tired in any sense. You know that what? Would not be. You know uh, what? That's very true. I totally agree with the bunny over there. Uh, you, you what, what's your name? Oh, thank you, it's, Norman. It's Zippy, thank you. right? Yeah, uh, listen, he, he's got a exactly. Spot on, guys. My name's Zippy. Zippy, perfect. Look, he's got a spot on, guys. We want to be nice and limber, and I say, you know what? We could probably, you know, wouldn't be a bad idea to do some warming up. I, I think. James speaks up from the crowd, and he's like, "Yes, uh, I actually know a few uh, warm up techniques. If we, if everyone would like to gather around, uh, I can lead us in an exercise." Uh, and all the men are like, cheer, yeah, exercise, stretch. <laughs> and all these burly men are like now doing like downward dog and all these yoga positions to like really <laughs> stretch it out. And James Jameson is leading them. And you guys are obviously following suit. Um, well, how about your first, ch- your first skill check of the entire campaign is going to be a yoga check. Um, so do ath- athletics, I guess. This is to see how limber you get. I I rolled a one. <laughs> oh my gosh! So I it, so I guess plus three. It's a four. You actually rolled a one. Rolled a one. Oh I wow! I actually did. Wait, sorry, Seth. What do we roll? What do we? Oh, what? Uh... Roll a d twenty and add your athletics modifier. Okay. Oh my gosh! Like seven. Oh, sorry. I guess I guess it would be six if if. If you don't sit on the one, okay. But it's uh, yeah. <laughs> so you got one, um, seven minus twenty. You got a seven. False. Uh, Zippy's, Zippy's is twenty. Zippy got twenty. <laughs> not Nat though, right? No, no, no. Seventeen plus three. Okay, so twenty. Okay, so you guys are all doing these yoga positions to limber up for this raid, and uh, uh, Zippy, you first. You're killing it. You've obviously done some in the bramble patch way back when, uh, in your Lapine hometown. You're you're quite. Oh, limber. I feel so <laughs> good right now. Oh, this is bringing me back. <laughs> you're you're all stretched out, and and you feel like energized. Uh, and then Energizer Bunny. However, Normandy, <laughs> uh, you're not really getting much from this. Uh, you're you're just doing it, but you're not really putting your all into it, so you're not getting the benefits. Uh, but you're still <laughs> doing it, and you feel fine. Cool. Darian <laughs> is so bad. He attempted to do a wild yoga technique that I can't even explain. Well, I can't explain it. He put his two legs behind his other two legs, and he doesn't even have four legs. So he pulled his hamstring (laughs) in his right leg, and uh, you are going to have disadvantage on all, like, running, athletic, any jumping, because you've hurt your leg now from from (laughs) failing so bad at yoga. (laughs) Oh, my God. You started off this campaign with a one. Does Zippy get advantage then for being so energized? Uh, you you well, I won't say what it is yet, but you'll you'll basically get yeah bonuses for that. I put my Seth, I or sorry, DM. I put my hand on Darian's shoulder and I say, "Are oh, you all right? You look like you're really struggling." Uh, just remind me to never do yoga again. It looks like you're having trouble walking. Oh, I... need a, are you going to be a liability on this thing? Uh, no, I'm going to be quite all right. It's fine. I just, I regret taking part in this. Okay. Much... I, give him, I give him a warm smile, and I kind of give him a gentle squeeze on the shoulder, and I say, listen, if you ever need help, you can always ask me. And then I want, and then Zippy Zippy hops over to the two of them having their moment. Oh, don't you feel so amazing right now? Oh, Darian, what happened to you? Um, I, uh, did, uh did nothing. I did, my leg's fine. All right. Can it sure just, seems uh, like a whole lot we, of something, though. You know what? Oh, my goodness. James, help him. <laughs> Actually, I do know some massaging techniques. Uh, get over here, Darian. And, uh, <laughs> uh, all, all right. All right. Let's try. <laughs> and James is going to try to massage the pain away and see if he can fix it. Oh, my God. My hands are a little rusty, so I think I made it worse. <laughs> James, 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 uh, James did not do well, and uh, your leg is actually worse. So you take, you take. Uh, oh my gosh! Oh, you take four damage. <laughs> you take, what? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. 
and I say, I say, oh boy, it definitely looks like you might need some healing. Does anyone here know any like spells? Or- yeah, good Lord Almighty, does anybody know any cure wounds or anything? This is ridiculous. Uh, uh, I- I do, I do, but I think I'd save it for maybe something more serious, like the raid coming up. Sorry, Darian. <laughs> uh, this is in preparation for the raid, Zippy. I think it is important. Um, uh, yo, uh, Blackjack and Yogurt come over and they're like, Hey, uh, you mind if we try something? Yeah, you mind if we try something on you, Darian? Oh. All right, well... I'm sure you probably can't make it any worse. Um, they start licking you like their mother used to lick them as child, as child tabaxi cat people, and they lick your hair, and they're like, "You feeling oh, better? No. You feeling better?" <laughs> no, I, I I stop them before they get to my face. As okay. soon as I start licking, I'm just like, "Oh no, thank you. Oh, okay, no, I'm good. Thank you very much. I'm going to leave now. Oh boy, <laughs> aren't you. my friends just the most helpful people? Oh, you're thank good. you, Zippy. Thank you." And Darian exits. The best. We should probably get going. Yeah, I follow Darian out, out of here. Uh, so, uh, as you try to leave, Barrel yells at you guys. It's like, "Everybody, wait one sec." We have to we have to choose teams. This is a team operation. So I have this hat. I prepared this hat with all these numbers in it while you guys were doing yoga. Like, uh, please pass this hat around and take a number out of the hat. So this hat starts going around the circle uh, to all these sweaty yoga men. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and they're all picking numbers and one's like, oh, I got a one. Hey, I got a one. Oh, yeah, ones. And they high five. Uh, and the hat keeps going. Normandy, you're first. You reach in, and you pull the number eight. Next, it goes to Darian. You reach in, and you also pull the number eight. And Blackjack, Yogurt, and Zippy, the hat comes to you guys. And Blackjack and Yogurt turn to you, Zippy, and are like, oh, come on, let's, let's pick the same number, eh, Zip? Yeah, yeah, Zip, let's, let's put the same number. And you all three reach in Wouldn't at the same time. Wouldn't that just be the most fantastic thing? <laughs> you all reach in at the same time. Blackjack pulls a three. Yogurt pulls a three zippy pulls an eight <laughs> so um uh barrel speaks up again and is like uh okay everybody please leave the tent now and get into groups according to your numbers your team leader will then guide you from there okay everybody get out wait barrel 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 wait what wh- what if what if blackjack and yogurt put the threes together and make an A. Does that make any sense? You know what I'm saying? You can kind of, could you glue it together? Blackjack and Yogurt are holding the numbered cards and they hold them together and it forms an eight. And they're like, yeah, see, see, we got an eight. Yeah, an eight. Come on, Barrel. And Barrel is just too done at this point. Barrel is done. They, they, they are bad enough with you guys. And they're like, fine, they're an eight. They're an eight now. Okay, go with them. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh goody! Oh, blackjack yogurt, we're together. We did it, Zip. We did it. And they and you guys all hug. Uh, and Barrel speaks up. Okay, get out. Find your team leader. And good luck on the raid, Seth. Before before we leave, I look. Is the tiefling with the eye patch still there? Uh, no, they've left. While well, all the commotion, they're not there anymore. Ah, uh, okay. I go up to Barrel and I say. I said, excuse me, excuse me, really quickly. I don't want to bother you. Uh, Who was that tiefling that was here earlier? Oh. Oh, him? Um, well, what what number did you pull? I drew an eight. Oh, well, you're in luck. You'll meet him very soon. Now get out of here. All all right. I leave. Um... Do you guys leave, or, or do you want to do any more shenanigans with with, with this group? I, I walk over to Zippy. Okay. Uh, all right, Zippy, so here's, here's the thing. We're on the same team now, and we're in preparation for this. Before you speak, before you speak, before... No, before, I'm, before, I'm already... Just, I'm, I would just like to say I'm so sorry for making your pain that much worse. It, it's just... It's, no, it's all terrible. right, Zippy. Here, you can fix this with, with um, some action. Could you... Could you please, could you please fix my leg? I, you, you mentioned before that you have some skill in this. I should have just encouraged you earlier before getting licked by tabaxi. Uh, could, um, if, uh, if you could please, like, it, I, I don't want this to be an issue during, during the raid. Would you be able to do something about that? 
DM, is this a private conversation? Uh, well, no, it's not private. There's nobody really trying to listen in, as far as you can tell, though. But, but uh, okay. Blackjack and Yogurt okay. are in the conversation with you too. So, okay. Uh, sure. Uh, I didn't mean anything, but I didn't mean anything by it. I just wanted to be careful for the raid. But you know, you seem like such a nice gentleman. Uh, one condition, though. Um, see that <clears throat> for this to really work. I, I need you to to take some of these supplements that I have. I take them all the time. Uh, it'll really help even boost the cure wounds that I'll, I'll give. So would you mind taking one? It's it's kind of a policy for me. Is this a take it before or take it after kind of thing? Uh, before, before. Uh... I, can I inspect uh, these pellets? Yep, go ahead. Roll, roll uh, investigation. That is going to be an 18. Okay. Uh, to you, this is... You look at the, the little tablet, and it's, it's actually in the, uh, the sign of like a plus sign, with each of the four corners being a different color. There's green, there's white, uh, there's red, and yellow. Um, and yeah, it, to you, it looks like sugary something, substance. It kind of like, ru- if you rub it on your hand, a little bit of it comes off. So it's a little like grainy. Um, but you, you don't know much about drugs. So, so, uh, yeah, but to you, it just seems like a normal pill, uh, maybe like a sugar pill that you've seen before. I swear it works every time. No problem. I swallowed the pill. Okay. Um, Zippy, I want you to roll a persuasion check. Uh, I rolled a 10. A 10? Okay. Uh, Yeah. Darian, as you take this pill, you all of a sudden feel better in your leg. Uh, It feels like you got healed a little bit. Uh, You can take uh, two points back for healing. But then I'm also going to cure cure wounds with him, right? Hmm? Do you so that I'm also going to cure wounds, though. Oh, yeah. Then then you do that and... Because that's the point, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can do that as well. Uh, and... Uh, you know what? It is my... Hold on. As I take the pill, like, d- am I still, like, hindered in my leg now? No, it feels good to go now. All right. Uh, it, you know what, uh, Zippy? Let me, let me stop you. You know what? That pill actually... Uh... That actually uh, helped. I I think uh, I think I'm feeling uh, good to go. Really? Oh, that's so wonderful. That means that means we can save Q wounds. And oh boy, I I've already fixed you. Oh my goodness! I can't wait to get <laughs> to Orem and just share this with everyone. Yeah, that's fantastic. Thank you. Uh, oh, no, thank you. It's so nice to meet you. I uh, look forward to working together. So, do the two of you exit? Eight uh, crew. Ten? Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, I do. All right, uh, and you don't limp. You don't limp out of the tent. I was gonna make you limp. Uh, <laughs> so you're all good, and you go outside. In Normandy, you're already waiting out there. I'm playing um, my. I'm playing my accordion. <clears throat> just playing some kind of a little like shanty song. Performance check. Oh shoot! I didn't think about that. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a. Uh, 16. 16? Yeah. All right. Uh, you're playing pretty good. Uh, all the people uh, that were like in the yoga session are now leaving the tent to their groups. Um, and you can see all the little groups that are forming around you. They're all like kind of like dancing back and forth to your little jig. Uh, and they're all being inspired. And they're all like starting to chant now like, raid, 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 and while, to, to your beat. And, and while people are doing that, I'm saying, team eight is over here. You can come join Team, team 8. eight woohoo! <laughs> so, all of you guys meet up in your Team 8. As well as uh, Blackjack and Yogurt are there as well. And they're like, yeah, Team 8. Yeah, we're going to get it done, boys. Yeah, get it done, boys. Uh, and, uh, yeah, woohoo! You guys are waiting. And the Tiefling that you saw before with the eye patch and the missing horn uh, slowly is just kind of like rubbing his hands together in, in like 
to the to the northeast of where you're at between two tents and he's just kind of like pacing back and forth nervously rubbing his hands and like wiping his face i put my accordion away i say all right guys settle down stop goofing around and then as soon as you do that the the tiefling snaps and he starts making his way to you guys and he's like <laughs> you guys teammate you guys you guys teammate yeah yes Yes, of course we are. Look at us, teammates. Teammates. And what, uh, is, what other team would we be? would we be? I know. <laughs> good, good call. Good call. Good call. Uh, hey, hey, we're we're all teammates, right? Right. Good times. So super, super sorry, sorry, Zip. I, I Zippy. I think I try. I tried to kill you. I'm sorry, but uh, hey, it's all good. We're gonna work together. We're all friends oh, now, right? I, who, it was my fault. Don't worry about it. Hold on. I, I, perception, I, I just wanna... perception check on this guy. Is That's an insight check. Insight, do yeah. it. <laughs> I'm inciting. Oh, yeah. I just want to see if this guy's on the level. You can all uh, roll for insight check on this guy. But right now, he's just wearing a really crazy wide grin, and he looks happy to be with you guys. Okay. Do I have to roll insight? Because I feel like Zippy would just go along with this. You don't have to. Okay. Uh, 18 plus 2, 20. Okay. Uh, 13 total. Um, you, uh, Normandy and Darian, you see this, like, very happy exterior and everything, but you can tell behind this smile and everything, there's very malicious intent and bloodlust. You can feel it coming off this guy. Uh, but he does seem like he's willing to work with you, uh, and, Yeah. You seem like such a nice man. Oh boy, you, <laughs> you're so fuzzy. Uh, every, I love it. Every, every, everything about you just. Oh, I'm so happy you're with us. Thank you so much for joining. <laughs> I kind of feel me. me. Too. I put my hand on Zippy's shoulder and I say, "Let's not get too excited." And I kind of like try to pull him back a little bit away from this tiefling. I say, "Let's not get too excited. Let's let's focus." I don't. I. I don't okay, want him. Norman, I trust you. I don't want him too close to this guy. He. I can. If he's crazy, I'm pulling him away a little bit. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Focus. Yeah. We gotta focus. Uh. So. So. <clears throat> so. Uh. We. We are going to raid. I'm your. I'm your team leader. Uh. My name is. Uh. Elon. <laughs> Elon. <laughs> uh. So. Uh. You got. You guys ready to go? How does he smell? Does he have a nice musk? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh, Sorry. <laughs> Go on. He smells. He smells. Uh, he d- smells like he hasn't bathed in a while. He does not okay. smell good. Uh, but there are no visible stink lines coming from this guy. <laughs> nice. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I I think we're as re- ready as we'll ever be. Where, where do we continue to prep? All right. All right. Good. Good. Darian. Yes. Uh, let's let's go over here. There's a carriage. Uh, and we're gonna go. We're gonna go to our spot at the chasm and get ready to raid and take down this caravan. Ready? And so as the tiefling finishes up saying that, uh, he guides all of you to this carriage, a two-horse carriage, uh, and you can see there's some supplies in the back. Uh, Elon jumps on the front, uh, and he grabs the reins, and he's like, let's go, let's go, let's go! Get in the back, guys, get in the back! I hop on. All right. Everybody yeah, good? Uh, here I go! <laughs> yeah, raiding time, Zippy! Yeah, let's go get us some cards! <laughs> Team and eight, woohoo! Team eight, uh, and blackjack, yogurt, and zippy, and everybody <laughs> jumps in this carriage, um, and you start making your way to the breathing chasms just south of this encampment. Um, so as you're riding along in this carriage, you look back and you see the giant wall for the border of Orem, uh, and the and the specific gate that you need to get through to get into Orem that you need to pay the toll at. Um, and as the sun's setting. Uh, you can see that for some reason the torches aren't being lit. Usually they get lit a, about half an hour before sundown, um, but this time they're not lit, which is kind of odd to you guys. But besides that, you guys just keep going and making your way. Do you have any more conversations for this ride? It's going to be about half an hour to get there. Yeah, I say, uh, Zippy, uh, I... Uh... What, what what are you? You're like a giant rabbit. Oh boy, here I go again with. Uh, I'm trying to try keep I've said the this. answer in like ten words or less. 
I'm Zippy. Uh, I'm from the Bramble Patch, and I'm just excited to go to Orem with my friends Yogurt and Blackjack. Oh, have I already gone over the ten word limit? Oh, yeah, that, that was yeah, way over ten words, Zippy. Go. Yeah, you need to learn to count, Zip. I'm trying, my friends, but that, that's really but, interesting, uh, yes, Zippy. No, now, I... now, Darian, Darian, you are. Where are you from? I don't think I've ever seen your kind before. I'm, uh, yeah, so I'm, 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 uh, yeah, as you can tell, not really from around here. And, uh, so when you look at, uh, Darian, um, as player, so he's not saying this portion of it. So when you look at Darian, you actually see, uh, like an elven looking man, but not traditionally elven. Um, he's actually an Eladrin, um, from the Feywild, so has uh, a little more of a, kind of naturey look to him. He's got, uh, right now, uh, blonde and green hair, um, and uh, almost like a little subtle green uh, hue to his skin, because uh, specifically he's a spring Eladrin, and as Eladrin um, kind of match up with the seasons there. So you see this green uh, ranger-looking fellow um, <clears throat> sitting there in front of you, and he continues on. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm from... Uh, I'm I'm not from anywhere close to here actually. I'm I'm from quite far away. But I'm just traveling along doing uh, I guess you could say a, a little bit of self-discovery. <laughs> I've uh, been uh, restricted for quite some time and I I figured it was you know time time to learn something new, you know? Hmm. Well, that's, that's very interesting. I uh I too I come from a place very far from here and uh in fact if my life depended on it, I'm not sure if I would know how to get back there. I, well, I welcome you to this place, and I look forward to working with you all. What does Darian see when he's looking closer now at uh, at Normandy? Okay, um, he sees a tan color tiefling, kind of like a burnt yellow kind of thing, um, and he has ram horns that kind of curl back around his head, kind of, you know, like ram horns, I guess, and. He is covered with these uh, teal-covered tattoos that um, cover kind of his neck, his hands, his arms. He's wearing a bit of like a, a coat, but it, but the tattoos on my on his neck they look like they go down further down to his body, and they're kind of written in some runes that uh, he might not understand. For sake of just keeping everybody's descriptions at the same time. Zippy, what do the boys see when they look at you? Uh, well, they see um, they see a brown kind of uh, rabbit-looking creature. He's about four feet. Uh, he has like a white kind of uh, circle on his on his tummy, and um, two like pointy ears, but like one flops over. And uh, he has blue eyes, um, uh, <laughs> a pink nose. Uh, and then uh, small, like like small legs. Like he, you can't really see his legs because his 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 tummy kind of hangs over. You can just see his feet, kind of. I forgot that you are only four feet tall. Interesting. Yeah, I'm quite small. Yeah, you're a little guy. <laughs> you're huge. <laughs> yeah. No, it's... And blackjack and and yogurt. Blackjack's just a black furred tabaxi, and and yogurt's a gray and white spotted one. Uh, and he doesn't wear a paperboy hat because Zippy encouraged him not to wear it. Please listen to the prologue. I would encourage to... everyone to listen to that prologue. Yeah, terrible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you hear the cart and carriage come to a stop. And Elon pipes in and opens the curtain looking back in the carriage at you guys. And he's like, okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's go, guys. Let's get it done. <laughs> and he exits. Uh, and he comes around back and starts unloading the stuff that was in the back with you guys. Uh, as you all get out and you kind of help uh, with the materials, basically all you have in the back of the carriage was a lot of like hooks and rope uh, for the repelling system to get into the chasm uh, and smoke bombs. And you can see where you're at now. You're actually right about 20 feet away from the edge. Uh, as you go over and you look down, you can see it's about... Uh, about an 80-foot drop to the floor of this chasm. Uh, and it's about it's about uh, 90 feet wide. So it's quite, it's quite wide Holy at this point. Holy, this thing's huge. Um, yeah, and you can see on the other side of the chasm, there's another team 
that's uh, that's also preparing. Um, and you guys are just clipping it in, clipping in the the stakes and securing the rope and getting ready to repel. Uh, and then all of a sudden, you see a flock of birds in the sky uh, start coming this way. One of them, this hawk, comes down and lands on Elon's arm uh, with a with a note next to it on its leg. Uh, Elon takes it off, quickly reads it, and a huge grin just fills his face. Uh, and he runs over to the edge and looks down, and he says, "Boys, they're here! They're early! <laughs> they're early! We gotta get them! We gotta let's let's go!" Uh, and you can see all the other groups are now like really frantically preparing um and you can hear some people down the line from you on your side of the chasm uh and they're they're just screaming like go 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 as fast as you can elon i I, oh go ahead sorry no i was just gonna say i I wanted to double check my gear quick your gear uh all you have to make sure everything's set up right yeah it's okay you double check uh the gear uh roll investigation very quickly 17. Okay, you notice one of the stakes that's securing the rope <gasps> is actually quite loose. Whoa! Okay, I run over and I just, like, hammer it in. Okay, you hammer it in and you fix a potential problem that could have happened. I say, uh, good eye, oh, Darian. Good eye! Mm-hmm. Good eye, Darian! Great eye, Darian! Great eye! Uh, and <laughs> I'm playing a million people now. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, um, Elon runs back to the carriage, grabs the smoke bombs, tosses one to each of you. Uh, and he just pulls it, pulls the cord. He doesn't even attach it to himself. And you see red smoke starts to come out of it. And it engulfs him. You can barely see him now because it happens quite quickly. And he's just yelling at you guys, let's go! Let's get the cords! And he jumps off the edge. And he dives into the chasm as a trail of red smoke follows behind. Wow. This is, I this is my the most cord. exciting thing I've ever been a part of. Oh my goodness. All right, boys, let's go. And I <laughs> tear mine off as well, and I run and jump off the ledge as well. You're going to jump off the edge? You're not going to grab the like rope? With, like, yeah, like with, sorry, like with the rope. Elon didn't grab I mean, the like rope. <laughs> he jumped off. Oh, sorry. Oh I grab a rope too. Uh, okay. I, I'm, grab, like, I'm grabbing a rope, and I mean like I'm like going down like quick. All right. Kind of thing. Okay. So all of you grab the rope, and you start repelling. As you're repelling and pulling your cords for your smoke bombs, you see other colors of smoke. Darian's, yours is blue. Normandy, yours is green. And Zippy, yours is just like gray smoke. Uh, As you look over to the other people that are starting to descend as well, um, you see that they're pulling their smoke bombs and it's all multicolored as well. Uh, At the far end, uh, well, about 50 feet below, you can now see the, the caravan more clearly. You can see there's about 12 carriages. Uh, and you can see they're starting to pick up speed and get away from you. Uh, but as they're picking up speed, down the line, you see quite about 150 feet away, you see a line uh, of people just standing on the walls, and green magic starts to glow, and a molded earth wall closes the chasm, closes off the exit that they were headed to, this giant earth wall. Uh, and the horses squeal on the carriages below, and they come to a stop, uh, and you guys continue to descend, and no issues occur because you checked, and uh, you hit the floor. What do you want to do? Is Elon on the ground? Uh, you can't see him anymore. There's a lot of smoke. But from your immediate surroundings, uh, you can see basically uh, 20 feet away from you where you landed, there is a carriage. And then they're, they're in a line formation, so you can see the one carriage and assume that the rest are in front or behind. I sprint towards the carriage. Oh, are we on the ground? You're on the ground, and it's, like, you can hear screams. It's chaos. There's a lot of people running and scrambling. Uh, it's kind of every man for themselves at this point. I use Thaumich... Oh, no, Jake, were you, gonna, were you saying something? Well, I was just, uh... I was just gonna... Uh, I'll tell you about, uh, Norman, do, do you... Do you uh, see where our, our friend went? Where, where did where did our, our friend go? You know what, Zippy? I can't really see much. Just stay close to me. And as I get down to the bottom... Well, well, I, I, I think I can help in this situation. I, I've got keen senses, you see. Uh, let me see if I can smell him out. That's great. I While he's doing that, I use thaumaturgy, and I project my voice out to the carriages, and I say... I say, 
Lay down your weapons, put down your gold passes, and no harm will come to you. Uh, there's like people running back and forth. People have left the carriages for the most part. There's some nobles running away. Uh, they hear your voice, but it's a lot of noise, so it doesn't do anything. Um, Is there any um, nobles by the carriage I sprinted to? You can see uh, a family of three, yeah. Okay, I, I hop up on the side of the carriage. And you can roll perception, Zippy, in the meantime, to smell. Okay, I got 12. Uh, so Z oh, but Zippy, I get, but I get, uh, but I get, uh, but I also get advantage, so does that add something? Oh yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, you can roll advantage, so take the higher roll. Okay, so I can roll twice, right? Yeah, just roll one more time. Yeah, it's 12 again. Okay, so, uh... Zippy, there's a lot of people here in a lot of different scents and a lot of smoke that's filling your nostrils, so you can't discern where Elon has gone. But, uh, yeah, that's that's as much as you can tell. Uh, Blackjack oh, and Yogurt oh. uh, next to you, they're like, Zippy, we, we gotta go! Let's get something! Every, all the good gettings is getting gone when they're getting good! Yeah, I guess what he said! And then they, like, run into the smoke looking for uh, some gold cards of their own. Uh, you hear more screams come from the other side, uh, and you can hear some fighting and clashing of swords now. So I, uh, I turn back over my shoulder, having just hopped up on the side of the cart, and yell back to the guys, um, All right, boys, there's no time to hesitate here. You better get moving. And I turn back to the cart with the people in it and go, Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I really have no intention of killing any of you today, so if you would be as to kindly present your golden cards, I would be ecstatic um so it's a family of three it's the father the mother and a, and a young girl uh please roll in tim persuasion persuasion or intimidation i think persuasion because you said it quite nicely Ooh, that's a 20 not natural Boom! okay nice the the father uh they're all human by the way the father reaches back uh, and says give, give me the cards come on give me give me the cards where are the cards a and uh the, the wife is like, no, no, we, no, no, we can't. And he's like, no, please, give it. Uh, and she's like, fine, fine, here. And she gives him her card and, um, and the father's card. The kid, the child uh, daughter, did not have a card. Uh, but the father hands the two cards to you and says, T just take them all. Take them, please. Don't hurt us. Uh, and I quickly, I take the cards and I say, thank you. Can I quickly have your name? My name? Yes. Olo. Sorry, could you could you repeat that again? Olo. It's Olo. O -L -O. Do you have a surname? Olo. <laughs> Christofferson. Perfect. I uh, hope to Would repay you like this. Spell that for you as well. <laughs> no, no. Um, I jump off the side of the cart, run up to the front. There's horses attached to the front. Mm -hmm. uh, I run up and I start uh, cutting some of the horses free, uh, and I hop on top of one. Okay. Uh, back to Normandy and Zippy. What are you guys doing? Okay, I shout out to uh, Darren and I say, How many did you get? I've got two cards, but one of them's mine. I say, Oh, bollocks. And I turn and I start running towards... Um, I say, Zippy, that one's yours. And I turn and I start running towards the, the next closest carriage. Uh, okay. So you run to that carriage uh, and you look inside uh, and there's no one there. Oh, uh, great. Roll, roll a perception check, though. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Uh, five. Uh, okay, yeah. You don't see anybody in there. Uh, but you go inside, and all of a sudden, you feel a slicing p pain in your ankle. What? Uh, as somebody <laughs> underneath, hiding underneath kind of the benches in the back, uh, has gone and stabbed your leg. You take... Mm. Oh, no. Uh, one damage. Ow! Oh no, paper cut. He didn't. Go, he didn't hit very well. I go. I use thumbtruth and I go. What the hell? And then I flip and kick who whoever's under there. Okay. Uh, you kick them. Please roll to hit. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh oh. I definitely get this guy. Seventeen plus dex. I I definitely plus. Uh yeah. I get him. Nineteen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got him. Uh. Please roll one d four. Okay. Plus your strength. Uh, three. Okay. 
you kick the guy in the stomach and he's winded. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> he's, uh, he's he's just like holding his stomach and he's winded. What do you do? I grab him. I drag him out. And I use prestidigitation to make my hand look like it's covered in fire. Okay. And I say, the gold pass or your life. Uh, roll intimidation with advantage because you're using a flame hand. Okay. <laughs> uh, 15. Uh, 15? Yeah. That will do it. The guy cowers and says okay don't burn me don't burn me here <coughs> here take take it and he hands you his gold card uh you have gotten one i take it and i say and i i kind of push him back under the bench kind of roughly and i say mm-hmm. stay inside where it's safe and i walk out and he's confused this noble is confused uh he's like what what is this nice robber doing he's like a maniac oh, oh and then i and then i come back in and i say hey don't forget n- vote normandy for president one day and i leave as, as soon as you do that zippy <laughs> what do you got to do anything you're alone right now blackjack and and uh yogurt have disappeared into the smoke looking for their cards Normandy pointed me towards uh, a cart that was nearby. He said, this one's yours. So I go towards the one he pointed to. So you go towards, towards Darian, who's now, like, getting the horses freed. Um, All right. Okay. Um, I, so I, I, I want to cut two of the horses free uh, and basically just, like, have like be on the one and have the sec- uh, second one, like, at the ready, basically. Okay. Uh, so as you're cutting, you don't have to roll. It's, you're, it's simple. Uh, the horses are a little spooked, but you're good. Uh, and as soon as you start cutting and setting the second one free and having the two, um, you hear an explosion in the distance, uh, and the smoke is starting to disappear now. So it's starting to lighten up as, as it, the time's gone on. Uh, and you can see just more smoke coming as the earth wall has crumbling down into the chasm. Uh, and you just hear one of the other bandits that you were kind of working with, um, from another team just yell oh no orum golden gods are here let's get out of here now and a lot of people start climbing the ropes um but you can see up above uh there are guards wearing golden suits of armor that are slicing the ropes so they can't climb so you see people falling off the wall back into the chasm that are trying to escape uh what do you guys do what does Uh, it look like oh Oh, go ahead go for jacob uh, as Zippy, uh, sees the ropes falling, uh, I assume they cut them at the very top, right, of the ropes? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Zippy sees, uh, our rope falling, so what he does is he uses his powerful legs, he's a powerful jumper, and he goes up and tries to save the rope from falling too far, so he tries to grab it, uh, as high as he can jump and, like, secure it so that it doesn't fall too far. Okay, uh, roll your jumping stuff that you have. Because you're a lapine, so you get, like, bonuses. Right. He's a bunny, so he can hop. Well, I have power of a jumper, which just makes that, like, I can use dexterity instead of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, So I'll just roll for that, right? Yep, go for it. Yeah. Uh, I got a plus dex. Uh, I got a twenty. Boom! Are you attempting? Are you, a, are you attempting to jump and grab onto the wall? Uh, grab rope and grab onto the wall. Okay. Um, but like so very you, high up. That it's yeah. like a very powerful jump. So you rolled pretty good. Uh, you jump up and you get about uh thirty feet on this one jump. Uh. And as you are jumping in the air, you're 30 feet. As soon as you reach the apex, you feel like you're going up even a little bit further. You guys on the base of the <laughs> ground, um, you're, you're uh, just like working with the horses and everything. Uh, and all of a sudden, everything around you 
just starts to levitate as you feel this giant gust of wind emerge from the chasm. It feels like it's sweeping under you and lifting you slightly. Uh, so you all have levitate for a little bit. Everything's kind of floating. The smoke is like dispersing with the wind. Uh, and Zippy, you're going about 40 feet. Um, and the wind is just howling at this point. It like kind of progressively got louder. And you're all kind of like just floating and it, you can feel the pressure of the air. Uh, and then it cuts. Uh, so you, uh, Zippy, are like 40 feet. You were like floating slightly up, uh, and now you're falling. Uh, so please make a deck save to see if you grab the wall. Oh, no. The rest of you guys, you're okay. You only floated about five feet off the ground. But the horses are spooked. Okay. Uh, I got a 13. Uh, 13? Uh, okay, that's not going to yeah. cut it. Uh, oh, you, no. like, grab onto the wall... And you start sliding down, but you don't get enough power to, like, latch on. But you slide down to the bottom. Uh, and you're holding the rope now. Uh, the wind, sl- like, the howling is gone now. But you can hear it echo in the distance. Uh, and the smoke is gone. Uh, and you can see, kind of, the carnage that's happening. A lot of the guys you're with have, like, murdered a lot of nobles. There's blood everywhere. And you can see the guards are coming in, slaughtering everybody who isn't a noble. Uh, and in the distance, uh, you see uh, one of the guards yell, Captain Ran, more over there! And you see Captain Ran, this centaur with a golden suit of armor on top and gold like horse armor on the horse bit. <laughs> and he's holding this large spear with a, like a wooden shaft that's carved with stampedes of horses like right into the wooden shaft. It's like an ornate carving. Uh, and Gosh. he sees you in the distance because there's no guards at your end. You're at the tailor, the almost second last uh, carriage from the end. Uh, and Captain Rand just says, I see them. I'll get them now. And he just starts galloping towards you guys. Um, okay, how many guards are in the chasm that came through the wall? Uh, as far as you can tell right now in the distance, there's about uh, 20 Oh, at the at the guards. at the far at the like entrance end, but they're like kind of dispersed throughout. So closest to you, there's about three, but they're about uh, they're okay. about Is twenty Zippy... five thirty feet away. Are they in like Is any Zippy kind of process? like for... oh, oh, Are they in any kind of like formation or anything like that? No, like... they're just they're pretty scattered. Okay, um, so I I'm gonna grab the two horses. I'm gonna look over at Normandy, and uh, I'm gonna like yell, Normandy, get on the horse. And uh, like, I kind of bring a like bring a horse over to him. Not a bad idea. I hop on. Zippy, are you coming? Well, has Zippy hit the ground yet, or is he in the process? Yeah, you, of you, you've Did you slid, guys just you've slid down. The ground? On, no, you've slid down, <laughs> and you're on the base ground now. But like, you can see the mark where okay, your claw then... hand was like trying to grab. Okay. Uh, Blackjack, yoga, where are you? Oh, no. uh, I try to Zippy. I there's no, perception. there's no time for them. You hear? Uh, it's now or never. Uh, but they're my friends. They're the first people I met. Zippy, it's now or never. Okay, I cast Charm Person on on Zippy. On Zippy? Oh, yeah. okay, oh, oh. okay. Uh, yeah, I okay. Know. That's uh, what I'm he's trying to get me to go. Okay, Zippy, so you Charm Charm have... Person, you attempt to charm a humanoid. Uh, is does Zippy count as a humanoid? You can see within range. He must make a wisdom saving throw and does so with advantage uh, if you or your companions are fighting. So we're not. So no advantage. So, okay, Zippy, cool. Zippy, you just need to roll a wisdom saving throw. Right, so you can roll right? and then add your wisdom stuff. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I got a nat one, and then it says plus two is three. <laughs> That's Zippy, a natural one, boy. Zippy is uh, <laughs> charmed by Normandy, so you have to do whatever he says. And I say, Zippy, it's for your own good. Get on my horse now. I, okay, I, I'll, I'll come. And I hold my hand out to him, and I, and I lift him up and put him on my horse. Okay. Uh, you see Captain Rand is closing the distance. He's charging at you, and he's raising his spear. And he says, stop! I don't leave! You deserve to be in prison and rot! Stop there! I look, I look at Darren and I say, You got any bright ideas? Um. Let me just double check something here. Um. 
Yes, I do. Run! And I just break <laughs> out into a full gallop with the horse. Uh, towards, kind of, like, uh, trying to go around the captain and basically trying to punch through to the other side. I saw Lord Zorum. So, so, sorry, you're trying to dodge around the captain and go towards the exit where the earth wall has been destroyed and towards Orum? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, I fo- so- I'm, I'm right on his heels. I, at least I, if I can, I follow. Uh, are you on the second horse? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you'll do that, and Zippy, you're on, on the horse with uh, Normandy, right? Uh, so yeah. all of you are on there. Uh, you're basically going jousting style head on, uh, and you said you're trying to swerve and get around Captain Ran, right? Yes. Okay, well, I'm going to roll. Oh, no. Let's see what happens. This is the dumbest thing we've ever done. We should have used perception to see if there's any other way. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're right. They're, pro- they're probably, like, a, a back exit right behind us. There's probably, like, well, a hole or something it's... we could have crawled through. <laughs> it was, it's a chasm, man. It's either back deep or into the chasm. You never checked. You never checked. Uh, you never checked. <laughs> There's uh, so but... many options, Connor. No, uh, you know what? We, we couldn't know. There was smoke everywhere. We couldn't have known. It's chaos, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, Norm, uh, sorry, uh, you're in front, but I'll use this role for both of you guys since you're, like, in a train of, of horses. Uh, so you guys are going head on, uh, and Captain Ran is raising his large spear... And he's just about to bring it down, and both of you guys dodge your horses to the left, and the spear slams into the ground with like a lot of force, uh, and you can feel the earth quake a bit, uh, but only slightly. And uh, you guys have dodged him, but Captain Rand has made a quick turnaround and is pursuing you guys. What do you do? Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cast Dissonant Whispers, a level one spell. Okay. Okay. On Captain Ran? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Disney Whispers, the target must make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, it takes 3d6 psychic damage and must immediately use its reaction to move as far away as its speed allows it away from me. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, nice. Uh, okay. So, a wisdom saving throw? Yeah. Okay. Uh, DC, DC is 13. Uh, yeah, so he got... A lot higher than that. <laughs> so, Captain Ran, uh, you do it, but you can still roll damage, I believe, yeah? Okay, so uh, 3d6 and then half of that kind of thing? Yep, yep. Okay. Uh, nine is what I rolled. Okay. Um, you can see Captain Ran behind you. Uh, you do your dissonant whispers move as you're, as you're kind of whispering to yourself. So and I you say... It's kind of weird. But yeah, what oh, do you yeah. say? I say... It's not wise to follow them. Death follows them. You can see uh, the Captain Ran is holding his head, uh, and he's like, uh, no, 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 and he shakes it off, and he's like, your tricks won't work on me! And uh, he chases you further into the chasm. Uh, All right. I, my, uh, if I can go. Yep, go Zippy, ahead. Zippy, save uh, us, so, man. Save us. So, uh, Norman, with your permission, obviously... Uh, could, could I maybe speak a little, a little something to the horse, please? Sure, my friend! <laughs> well, because you've charmed me. Uh, <laughs> um, through, uh, uh, so I'm going to use language of the Bramble Patch, which, uh, allows me to just communicate with, with, uh, all sorts of creatures that are yeah. native to, yep. you know, the area. So I'd like to whisper to the horse, C- could you please go faster, please? That would really help us. That would really help us out in the situation. I've met these these friends here, and I'd really like to get out of this alive. You see, I would really like to go to to Orum Horse. If you could bring us there, that would mean the world to me. Uh, do you think you could do that, please? <laughs> <laughs> the horse, the horse speaks up and is like, <laughs> "I'm going as fast as I can, Zippy. <laughs> but for you, <laughs> but, but for you, I'll go a little faster. <laughs> Hold on!" <laughs> and, uh, and, and the horse with. <laughs> The horse with inspiration uh, is now like just 
booking it. You can see it's overtaking you, Darian, and the horse is just going. Uh, the guards that were in front of you, there was a line of guards that were like, they were going to try and stop you as well, uh, or or they were just going to be in the way. Uh, they all dodge out of the way because this sport, this horse is like a bullet now. <laughs> Um, okay, because they've moved in front of me. Yeah, I want to turn back with my bow. Okay, I'm gonna cast a uh, hail of thorns, and I'm gonna fire a bow, an arrow at the captain's leg to try and make him trip. Basically, okay. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, boy, that is a. I need to double check the one stat. I think it's a... yeah, that is a nineteen. Okay. No, sorry, that is a tw- that is a twenty. That is uh, going to hit. Please roll damage. F- f- Fifteen plus five, so that's one d eight plus three plus an extra one d ten from the stupid, spell. stupid good. <laughs> let me uh, let so me roll a be... dex save for him just for a second. Yeah, no, he doesn't make it. No. Uh, oh yeah, he does have to make the dex. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't make, make it fine. though. Uh, that's gonna be ten total. Um. Okay. Didn't roll uh, super great on the dice. <laughs> you uh, roll that and it hits uh, the leg, and I'll use that. Uh, you hit the leg of Captain Ran, uh, and he's like booking it after you guys, right? Uh, and you hit the front and left leg, uh, and it just sinks in, and the thorns come out, and, and it seizes up his leg, and he collapses and like slides to the side uh, as he eats the dust. Uh, and you can just see he sticks his spear in the ground and is trying to get up, but it's difficult with the with the arrow. And he pulls the arrow out, snaps it, and just yells, "Get them!" Uh, the the oh, gosh the guards are all too confused, and you're going so fast uh, on your horses uh, that they're they're not in getting in the way. Uh, but there is one archer up above that's going to take a shot at. Um, at Normandy and and, and uh, your horse. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, you see this arrow come, uh, and he points it down, and you can just see – well, you can't really see, but he's taking a deep breath, <laughs> and he, like, calms down. He leads the shot, and this arrow goes soaring through, and you can see that, like, it's passing through all the carnage and carriages, and it hits – your horse in the side and you hear the horse speak and go (laughs) (laughs) and and, but it goes it goes even faster now (laughs) uh and uh, darian you're falling behind on your moderately speeded horse um but you guys go ahead yeah i'm gonna zippy would just like to cast uh cure wounds on the the horse and then uh whisper uh, into his ear, <laughs> ear yet, well, the horse gets cruel. Yeah, whisper, whisper yet again. Uh, You're doing such a good job. Just a little more, please. Uh, please roll for the healing for cure wounds. All uh, right. That's just that's a one d eight, right? Yep. A uh, seven. Uh, nice. Wow. Plus your spell casting ability modifier, which I believe is uh, two. Yeah. Uh, so you heal it for... What was the original roll? Sorry? Seven. Seven? So you heal it for nine points. Yeah. Um, that is enough to fully heal this horse. So the arrow that was stuck in its side, you can hear it snap as the wound closes up. Uh, and, and the horse just says, Thank you, Zippy! <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, I guess he never asked your name, but he knows. He knows. <laughs> he, uh, he overheard it. You overheard uh, it when no, you guys were talking. No, Norman, what, was it all right that I did that? I, I, you charmed me, you see, and I just hope uh, that me acting like that was okay. <laughs> usually, uh, I, 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 usually people who are charmed are not self-aware that they're charmed, but until after. <laughs> but uh, it's oh, an exception in this case, I guess. So that's fine. <laughs> no, it's funny. It's funny. My referring friend, if you, whatever you do, if it helps us get out of here, then I am a okay. You guys with are it. speeding through the crowd, uh, and and uh, you can see that the earth wall there's like it's like a hill now, and you're going to have to go over it. Um, but you can see a line of guards has formed on top uh, of of this broken down wall mound, um, 
and you guys are heading towards it. Uh, what do you want to do? Oh my gosh. How many guards? Uh, there's about uh, 11 guards, yep. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um... And they all have like shields and, and, and pikes. What? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. I say, I say, Darian, stay close to me. No, I say, Darian, can you stay close to me? You got a plan? I say, I think so. All right. And I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my last spell. Oh no! And as I get close, I'm gonna cast Thunder Wave right in front of us. <gasps> okay. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Um, and I say, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. All so I you're say. leading the way, uh, and yeah. uh, you're you're charging on this horse, uh, and you get up, cast Thunder Wave. I gotta roll some some stuff, right? I gotta roll for a lot of people. Well, you're only going to hit about uh, f- five of them, yeah. Okay, so a wave of thunderous force sweeps out from you. Each creature in a 15-foot cube originating from you must make a constitution saving throw. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, let me, DC, let me roll that. Give me your second. Yeah, DC 13. Okay, three failed. Uh, th- three failed. Uh and we'll say they're the, the, the front three. Uh, as you're going, uh, you boom it, and uh, the, the creatures are, like, flying, the, the three. They, they, they take the damage. Oh, roll damage, by the way, just so I make sure. Okay. Uh, do I add anything to that? Uh, no. Not, not that okay. one. Uh, so five. Five? Uh, yeah. You get hit, they get hit. Uh, for five damage, not too much. So they're not they're not totally wounded. They're pretty good, but they go flying back ten feet, and they're prone now on their backs. Uh, but the two that saved uh, still get hit. But uh, since you're passing through them, they're gonna try and like pincer you and like skewer this horse. Can all right? Uh, can I try and do something I, I, before I, they do that? Uh, okay. Or go ahead. Zippy? Yeah, go ahead and do something if you want to. You're behind. Yeah, Zippy, do it, man. All right. So, uh, so uh, Zippy. Zippy whispers into the horse's ear once again. This is like, all right, y- you can do it. I I promise. Just believe in me. And then I cast <laughs> I cast a uh, jump on the horse, and uh, uh... <laughs> and uh, which uh, makes the creatures jump uh, like tripled. So um... sorry, Darren. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I, I have something. I have something I, I can don't... do at the same time. It's okay. Just you can resolve. Like do that first. Yeah. So so I I cast this. I'm just like. You see what I mean now, horse? Do it. You'll be a show horse, just like your other friends growing up. I I, I don't know how I know that, but I feel like we've had this connection <laughs> that uh, I just... I, do it! Jump! Now! I feel like I've known you all my life! <laughs> I will jump! And the horse goes. <laughs> and the horse jumps. Uh, over, and and it's majestic. They jump about like twenty five feet up, <laughs> Whoa, and like gosh. they're flying, like they're going, and it's soaring. All the guards are amazed, and they're looking up, like at the craziness of this sight. And as they're looking up, you Darian sneak through the the path, like okay. they're not paying attention <laughs> to you. Um, yes, and and your horse lands on the ground, uh, and you guys are still going. You're. As you look back, you can only see the mound now, and and forward, uh, you just see a straight path that looks to be clear, uh, which is like slightly uphill, leading to the plains and the encampment uh, where you guys are at. But it's still about um, fifteen minutes uh, away of a ride at the speed you're going. But it looks clear. So as you keep going and galloping, um, you think, okay, I you're you're all safe, and you think you're all good. Uh, and yeah, do you want to debrief or are you just going to keep going at full speed or I'm going to quickly like catch up with the guys, um, and say, all right, I, I don't think we should return to the camp. I, I have no idea how many people made it out of there. I don't know what these guards know and I don't want to risk losing these passes. So I say we actually lay low somewhere else for maybe even the night and then we attempt to go in tomorrow morning. I totally agree. They definitely knew we were going to be there. Yeah, something was quite off about that. It seems like they targeted 
Just everyone there. I hope everyone's all right. Zippy, can you find us a place to rest? Oh, wait. Uh, You're still no, in the I, chasm. I guess... it, is, it is like nighttime now, though. The sun has set fully. So, so you guys uh, are going to keep going, though, down the path? Well, there's... Yeah, I guess we ride, we ride out of the yeah, chasm. Yeah, like, is there, okay. is there anywhere else to go? Like... Uh, no, not that not that you can see. There's no, like, side passages at this point. Okay. Not a um, problem, guys. So I as, have... as you're riding... I'm oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, not a problem, guys. I have, uh, I have night vision. I should be able to, to walk us through this entire path. I've... I, th- I, I do as well, actually. I think you all have night vision. Yeah, I think you all have night vision. <laughs> I think we're all on oh, the same well, page, Zippy, but well, that's a really good should, idea. Thank this you. This should just be a piece of cake. Uh, as you're riding, uh, your speed's kind of gone down a bit as you're like five minutes away from the carnage. Uh, and and you uh, are just kind of going at an okay pace, but you're still like, I got to get out of here. Yeah. As you As you're getting near the exit, you can see that the... The chasm, uh, you're like l- c- climbing out of it now, uh, and you can see where it flattens off, and there's no more like earth walls next to you. Uh, but at the top, uh, please make a perception check. Oh, shoot. See what you see. All of us? All of you, yeah. Okay. Very good. 14. Uh, 14? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, that's going to be uh, 16, actually, as well. Okay, uh, so you can all see this quite clearly. Uh, you can see it's Beryl, and they're waving at you uh, to get back here. And next to them is this large, gold-plated, uh, gold-armored uh, mastodon d and uh, creature, which is kind of like an uh, anthropomorphic elephant, like a large elephant man. Um, but they're wearing, like, the gold armor, and you can see Beryl waving and smiling and, like, waves you to come here. Man, am I, Seth, am I able to do, uh, so, or DM, am I able to do, like, a farsighted perception check? A uh, farsighted perception check? Or, like, a, like, an, like, or I, I guess, I guess that's what like we an, already did, right? Like, an yeah. insight, just... insight check onto the situation. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, you can like... do it, you can do that. Insight check. Can I do that okay, as well? Cool. Sure. And I'll do it. Okay, 18. Uh, 17. Uh, 18. So. Nice. Uh, also, I should clarify: not mastodon. I was thinking of a different word, but it's loxodon. Same thing, but it's a it's a elephant man. Okay. Uh, but what were your rolls? Eighteen and seventeen. 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 Okay. Uh, you guys, you're like Beryl. You don't know them really well, and you can't really tell what they're thinking at there. But you can tell just by the scenario they're in that if Beryl's with somebody wearing gold plated armor from Orum. Uh, who looks like one of the guards from before, but an elephant, uh, it's probably a sketchy deal and you should be cautious. That's what I'll tell you. <laughs> All right. I, I say, screw that. We're going to find another way out of here. And I I go, I, well, and I, I turn to Darian and I say, do you want to just bounce? Um, yeah, like, are are we in the planes? Are we out of the chasm yet? Like, we're... Uh, you're just about to get out. Is, and uh, he's at the top? But they're standing, like, right... Yeah, they're at the top. Uh, oh my gosh, they got us like cornered. It's honestly the only way out is is forward. So what I say we do is, um, all right, Normandy. I, this is what I think we should do. I I don't trust this man as far as I can throw him. Uh, so why don't we? And he's a big, he's a big elephant man. So that's probably not why. Don't he sure we... is quite big. He is. So if why don't we move up um, ca- cautiously? And uh, make him think that we're going to stop, and then, then just kick it. Just go into a full sprint past him, just in case there's anything else going on. Excuse me, uh, k- kick what? What are we kicking again? Uh, quiet, Sabi. <laughs> no, uh, it's just, a, ge- it's just a, a general really... question, Norman. No, it's I under I understand, Zippy. Here's here's a, we're just going to go as fast as we can. We're going to get very close. Try and get them to keep their guard low, and then just go for it. Mm. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I say. You got anything else? Oh, yeah. I say. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, hmm. I say. Okay. Follow my lead. All right. And I and I kind of slow down the horses. 
Wait, because we're planning on like looking like we're going to stop and then yes, booking yeah. it, right? Mm -hmm. Cool, yeah. So I kind of like pull on the reins a little bit and I wave and I kind of, I look, I try to look kind of confused and I say, Burl, somehow they knew that they were, uh, no, Burl, somehow they knew what we were, that we were going to be here. By the way, who's this? Boys, 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 you're back. Uh, how'd it go? How'd it go? And, and they're just talking to you normally, kind of like that. And the and the Loxodon elephant is just standing next to them, not saying anything. I'd like to use Mage Hand to to poke the elephant in the eyes. What? <laughs> <laughs> just poke them in the eyes with a Mage Hand? Yeah, yeah. Just go bam. Okay, so you okay, so you summon this Mage Hand, and then you send it flying towards them. Uh, and, uh, the, the Loxodon just grabs it and crushes it with their fists. <laughs> and you can see magical energy disperse. Uh, and then Barrel's like, what, what are you doing, guys? Why are you, what are you doing? Why are you in gold-plated armor? Is it ready? Barrel asks the Loxodon, and the Loxodon just nods. And I just, I just and you book see, it. You, you okay? You try. Uh, make a deck save. Crap. I, I try to. Yeah, yeah. The dice are on my side today, boys. All right. That is going to be a 21. 16 plus 5. Uh, 12 for me. Uh, 14 for okay. Zippy. Okay, Darian. You uh, dodge out, and uh, as you run to the side, the other two are a little too slow to start, uh, but they see six pillars of stone burst from the like around them oh, uh, no. from the ground Crap. and you can see uh that each pillar is is quite large um and uh you did not succeed uh and you are lifted by uh the the pillars into the air uh and you're like floating now and you're restrained you, you like can't move um they cast a spell and you fell into the trap. Uh, but Darian, you're outside the trap. Oh dear, this is not how I thought today would go at all. How do we get in one predicament after another? Zippy, you know what? They, you got me. This really sucks. This is, this is terrible. Barrel, what, what's going on? Uh, Barrel just uh, smiles and says, get him! And the large elephant man just raises, uh, uh, they they have like also like a large spear, but this one's encrusted with like stampeding elephants, similar to what Captain Rand's was, but not horses. Uh, and Darian, they, run! And they what? raise it, uh, and I'm gonna roll. Oh gosh. Okay, yeah, uh, and it comes slamming down on you, uh, and you take. Oh, that's so many. No. Okay. Uh, you take uh, 35 damage. <laughs> Holy crap. And seriously? You go... Yeah. I'm straight up unconscious. You get blasted back and are unconscious. but uh, And you just see your friends in like this prison, uh, this magical like capturing uh, mechanism with the pillars of stone surrounding them. And they're just like reaching out to you and like, Darian. And you... Fade out into unconsciousness. Um, nor <laughs> you see uh, the Loxodon uh, raise its spear from the ground uh, and then looks at you guys. A and Beryl's just like, now, now wasn't that a stupid thing to do to run off? He, he went and got himself killed. Excuse me, uh, where was this guy when we were descending into the caverns? We could have used him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when, if you want to be Zippy, you're, Zippy, you're so slow. Uh, what, you gotta get with it, man. If you, we wanted this to go so well, where was he? Well, I say, Zippy, I think we've been tricked, and I think this was all, uh, a trap for us. What? We did yoga together. Uh, and Beryl... Excuse me, Beryl. We did yoga together. Seth. We touched the talk rock with you. I didn't want you to touch the rock or do yoga. That was none of the things I wanted from that meeting. Let me know to roll it. Anyways. Let me 
Sorry, let me know when to roll a death Yeah, I will, save. I will. Okay. Yep. Uh, you can roll one right now if you'd like. Uh, is it just a straight roll or is it plus constitution for death saves? Uh, I believe it's just a sa- uh, a strict roll, but I will double okay. check. Yeah, I don't That's, think so. It's a 12. Darren, yeah, that works. You have one success oh, uh, currently. Uh, <laughs> We're on death's door. First episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh you hear Darian, you hear vo- Aurora's voice yeah. <laughs> distantly in your mind. Seriously. Darian! Darian, I love you. <laughs> um but listen to his prologue if you want to understand that reference. Uh so Beryl is just uh looking at you guys and it's like, well, uh I guess we'll just take them now, right? Uh and the I lock use... just Yep, go ahead. You're restrained though, know that. Yeah, yeah, I use Maytan, and I start smacking Darian in the face. <laughs> I'm going, wake up! Wake up! Save us! Sure, sure. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm really going hard. Like, I'm smacking, oh, pounding him. Just like, like wake up! <laughs> because it's funny, I'll say that happens. The Maytan comes from you and goes out, escapes the barrier, and it's slapping him in the face. And uh, <laughs> and you do more damage. He's further into death now. No! <laughs> um, but, uh... Beryl and Loxon look at each other and they're like, well, like, I guess we'll just take them now, right? And the Loxon just goes, <laughs> and just like keeps breathing heavily like that. Uh, and Beryl turns to you guys. It's like, well, uh, this is last I'll be seeing you guys. It's a pleasure working with you. And, ah! and you see uh, a spear, uh, one, of, one of the guard spears from before, a gold-tipped one, goes through and hits Beryl in the side. And you see it's Elon covered in blood. And you can just feel the blood less coming off him. And he's just like, <laughs> oh, 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 I'm not done, I'm not done. I just teammate! got out of there. Now. Teammate, woohoo! Teammate, teammate! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, teammate, teammate! And you can see uh, Yogurt and Blackjack are with him as well. And they're like, Zippy, what did you do? Yeah! Uh, and, uh, Elon's just like, all right, Blackjack Yogurt, take one of those pillars down and free him. I got the two here. <laughs> and, uh, Elon just charges at the two and Beryl's like getting behind the Loxodon, uh, elephant guy and he's getting in front and you can see they're like jumping at each other and like clashing and it's an intense battle. Uh, Blackjack and, and Yogurt, uh, they take one of the, te- the pillars and they're like, slamming it and it's not doing too much but they keep going they're like zip are you okay are you okay zip uh i've had better days but oh boy am i glad to see you two we've had a quite a adventure i have so many stories to talk to you guys about <laughs> yeah we got we had a wild day too and uh you and can- then i and then i say i say uh it is so good to see you guys. We looked for you everywhere before we fled. Like, they were right on our tails. I'm so glad we found you. Yeah, I saw you. I saw you guys running on the horse. You you told me to get out of there. We we didn't. Said, you said we didn't have time to go find hey, you. Hey, uh, Zippy, Zippy, quiet, quiet, Zippy. Yeah, uh, stop talking uh, right now. Uh, uh, okay. Anyways, let's keep going, Blackjack. Let's go harder. Wait, Yogurt. It's, it's, it's the elf boy. He doesn't look too good. What happened, boys? Oh, uh, he got hit by that, that elephant man. Oh, dang. Yogurt, go check him out. I'll keep working here. Yeah, I got it. Uh, Yogurt come, is walking over to you. Make another death save, uh, Darian. Uh, I hope it's all right with you. I made two more rolls. Um, oh, you did? Cause, just because like, all of this conversation and stuff was happening. Yep. Uh, yep and right. I failed and succeeded. So I currently have two successes and one failure. So I'm going to do another one. And that is a natural 20. As Yogurt's running over to you, uh, you come to and you're like coughing blood. Uh, is the is the maid hand still slapping him? Uh, no, it's dissipated at this point. Ah oh, man. <laughs> um, but you're you're slightly conscious, and and Yogurt comes over and says, like, "Yo, Mister Yogarian, you are you doing okay? You still with us? Oh, jeez, there's a lot of blood." <coughs> <coughs> oh, I can honestly say I've definitely had better days. Oh. Oh, dear God, I want that spear. Please give it to me. <laughs> Yogurt yells back and is like, Blackjack, I think he's dead. <laughs> I, I, I can't tell. 
He's, 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 he's just coughing blood. He's not oh, bad. So... Yeah, that's bad, yo. Good. That's so bad. Oh, it's all right. Let's keep going. <sighs> um, <sighs> uh, you see the fight going on in the in the distance now. Um, it is still going on, and uh, you can't really tell how much damage uh, Elon's taken because he was already covered in blood before he got here. Um, but the Loxodon is hurting, uh, and you can see Barrel is slowly like he's trying to run off in the distance now. Can I stand up and fire a bow at him? Bow shot. Uh, sure. Yeah. You yeah. Can, like slowly it, slump up yeah. and then aim it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's gonna be a hard shot, but go for it. All right. Come on. Come on. You got this. You got this. Ah, man. shoot. No, that's only uh, that's only a twelve. That's after. Yeah. After uh, so you shoot. You your arms are like shaking as you pull back the drawstring and you let the arrow fly and it goes. Uh, and it lands uh, near him, uh, but it doesn't hit. Uh, but Barrel notices that and just runs faster, holding the side where the spear ha- was taken out of. Uh, you see uh, Elon uh, is fighting this elephant man, and he drops uh, the, the sword he yo- normally used. Uh, he puts it down. Uh, he takes out two scimitars from his back, uh, and he jumps up, swings around on the Loxodon's tusk, goes up in the air, slams down both scimitars into his skull and then drags him down to the ground god of war style Uh, (laughs) pretty (laughs) badass and and and, uh just takes them out and it's like uh yeah man oh i love it love the fight love the fight Uh, oh you guys are still in there here let me help and he throws one of the scimitars and it slams into the one of the stone pillars and just demolishes it like blackjack is like was taking his time trying to get it done but this guy one shots it uh and wow. normandy and zippy fall to the ground now where when the you're heck were anything. you when when we were going through everything why'd you take your time <laughs> <clears throat> uh, i was uh taking care of uh business i was uh okay i was having fun i'm sorry i, I lost track of time no i look i look sense. back down into the bottom of the chasm yeah um and are people still fighting down there? Uh, it's quite a ways off in the distance at this point, because uh, you traveled okay. about like fifteen minutes at like full speed on a horse. Oh, that's right. Um, right. So you you can't tell. Okay. Wait, but all does you guys anyone, does uh, are know here. Where Barrel is? What happened to him? Oh, where? Where? Oh, did he get away? Did I let him get away? Ah, stupid Elon! Stupid! Stupid! Ah, I'll get him! I'll get him! I'll get him back! Go, go, go! And he runs off in the direction that he uh, saw uh, Barrel go before, uh, and he chases after him, and he runs into the night. Well, boys, oh my gosh, all's well that ends well, I guess. Yeah, we need to find somewhere safe to rest. This thing's pretty safe right here. Yeah. No one's around. No, no, we need to like go inside of the forest on the west side. Sorry, the east I... side of Orum. There's a forest there. We can go there. We can hide and rest. I, I slump yeah. on top of my horse. <laughs> and just yeah, like, yeah, your yeah. horses are still here, so you get on yours and slump on it. We need to get out of here now. All right. I hop on the horse and I say, I say, Zippy, heal him now. You get, to, it's been an hour. I'm not charmed by you anymore. Zippy, Zippy, I, I would really, really appreciate I, I understand. I just think there's something to be said about free will in this world. No, I, you're right. Just... You're right. We should. He should never have charmed you like that. I apologize greatly. Please, I'm bleeding everywhere. I just want an apology. I mean, I feel like there's a good argument for like what I did. I mean, I just want an apology. We, we kind of got away. Oh, please, <laughs> Normandy, an not now. <laughs> I need a, Darian coughs up a little more blood. Okay, I see the blood. I say, you know what, Zippy? I apologize for doing the right thing. You, you know, go heal it. I mean, I, I, I apologize. Thank I you. Won't do it I again. mean, I mean, it's not that you didn't do the right thing. I mean, we've all done wrong and right things today. I, I just think that you know, we should, you should at least ask kindly before charming me so suddenly. I, I just didn't like that. Uh, what was I doing again? What are we doing? Darian's barely conscious on the horse. <laughs> oh, I oh, think yeah. you were talking about maybe healing him. Uh, right. Uh, 
in order of necessity, yes, I, I think Darian would qualify for uh, a cure wound. All right. <laughs> and then uh, Zippy, Zippy goes and... Um, uh, goes in and heals him. Yeah, Darian isn't. He doesn't request that Darian takes another pill just because the pills usually last twenty four hours, so he's fine. Okay. Cool. Um, please roll for the healing. Where's eight? All right. Uh, it's, it's a nine. Okay. Nice. Uh, that's that's a good roll. That's plus plus your spell casting. Yeah. 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 Okay, uh, so yeah, you got hit uh, nine points of damage back. Uh, awesome. Darian? Darian looks uh, a lot better than he did before. <laughs> yeah, he does. And uh, Zippy's horse uh, comes up to you and it's like, <laughs> feels good. But all you hear is, <laughs> and, and that's it. <laughs> but, uh, so what's the plan going forward from here, boys? Look, we should... You survived the, the raid. As much as, as much as he is crazy, that... uh. That guy who the, the, Elon, we should probably try and bring him back. He he might actually be helpful for the next little bit. We we do need to to lay low somewhere though. Wait, for, first of all, bef- before we do that, uh, does everyone did everyone get a gold pass? Uh, you all check your bags, and yes, you all did get a gold pass successfully. Because Darian got one for yep. Zippy, right? Okay, and I got I got one. Uh, uh, blackjack and yoga. What about you? Uh, oh, let me let me let me check. Uh, pat 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 pat. No, I, I'm holding on to both for both of us because I can't trust yogurt. Uh, yes, we did get passes. Uh, do you guys know if? Yeah, yeah, we got passes. Yeah. Did Woo. did Elon get one? Uh, I'm not sure. He killed a lot of people. Uh, I assume he picked up one. Uh. I, I, I honestly I think that man can, it was can do down there. whatever he wants from what I've conceived. That's a fair point, Zippy. <laughs> I just, I we don't should, think a gold we should get pass moving, though. Stop him. That's very true. Let's, let's move. So where do you guys go to? So in the distance, about 10 minutes away from where you are, is the encampment uh, of tents and village where, like, all the people who are trying to get into Orem usually stay. Uh... As as Normandy mentioned, to the east is is some woods. Um, other than that, uh, you can go wherever. I Normandy, you mentioned before the the woods to the east. I don't want to risk going back to that camp. I think we should go to the woods, stay there for a few days while everything settles down, get ourselves cleaned up, and then act as if we're just traveling, uh, as if we're just traveling, and that we want to go into Orem. With our gold passes, like usual Ag- customers or agreed. Visitors. Zippy, are you in? Oh boy, square. Yes, Zippy. I want to ask you. I want to ask you. Is that what you would like to do? Oh boys, square one. It is. All right. So you guys all gang together, and you head on your way to the woods, and we're gonna take a small break. Hey everybody, Uh, DM Seth here just with a very quick mid-roll so we can get back to the rest of the episode. First off, I gotta do attributions because I use some music and sound effects. For music, we have Ethan Meeksill, Silent Partner, and Doug Maxwell slash Media Right Productions. There's your attributions. Take it, you filthy animals. You can find them on YouTube, audio, library. Uh, But for real, thank you for letting us use it. Uh, For sound effects, we have... Oh gosh, this is where it gets tough. It's always the sound effects people, I tell you. Uh... Knukfa, Franzen, and Skier Sailor. Uh, I hope I said that right. Uh, you can find them on freesound.org. Thank you for letting us use your sound effects. Um, other than that, uh, if you guys really want to follow us, uh, you can find us on Facebook at Cheaper Dungeon or on Twitter, uh, which is literally at Cheaper Dungeon. Um, and yeah, you can follow us there. Uh, if you really want to support us, we do have a Patreon. I'm not going to push it too hard on you, though, because we'll keep making it anyways. If you want to support us in a non-financial way, you can go, like, rate us on iTunes or tell your friends or something. Super easy stuff. Other than that, um, we just wanted to say, and I'm saying this on behalf of all the Cheaper by the Dungeon crew, myself, Adam, Connor, and Jacob, uh, 
going into this, we didn't think we would be getting the amount of support that we have gotten from you guys. Seriously, we put those prologue episodes up just as like a uh, fun little side thing while we got ready for the main campaign. And you guys blew it up. And all the kind words and feedback we've gotten from all of you, it's been seriously the best. We cannot thank you enough for you even taking the time to bother to listen to us. Uh, seriously, though, it it really does mean the world to us. And uh, we love you all, and we hope you keep listening. Uh, and we hope we live up to your expectations. Other than that, you may have noticed uh, that there was some like audio difficulties. We apologize. We are still very new at this, but we are improving and working on it. So hopefully audio quality will only keep getting exponentially better from here on out uh, until we get to the point where it literally sounds like we're in your head and you cannot get rid of us. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I thought I would just mention that in case anybody was worried about the overall quality for the rest of the show. But other than that, uh, next episode will go up. Let me get a calendar. September 18th. So episode two, September 18th. Tune in then to hear more Cheaper by the Dungeon. Enjoy the rest of the episode. So you guys are making your way uh, to the East Woods. Specifically, uh, they are called, and you've probably heard this in your time in the encampment, uh, they're called the Golden Road Woods. Um, So you guys go there and you see it in the distance. It's just, it's a very dense uh, wood. Like, the trees are quite close together. There's no real paths through it that you can see. It's quite dense. Uh, But you guys kind of head in headstrong just through it, just so you can find some shelter. Um, you can see inside, it's a very lively, uh, wood, uh, with lots of like fireflies and and lots of plant life. And you can hear lots of creatures in the distance, uh, just roaming around. So what do you guys want to do here? Uh, I say, I I say, Darian, you look like you know your way around the wilderness. Uh, (laughs) you would, you would be right, actually. Here, let me take charge. Um, so I want to take point and, um, using my, some of my ranger skills and, uh, being able to navigate through, um, the forest and as it being my favorite terrain, I want to find us a, a good spot to, uh, set up camp and, uh, so we can, uh, yeah, basically set up a fire and stuff. Okay. Uh, so you make your way through there and, uh, roll the survival check. And I get an advantage. And that is going to be survival. Um, sorry, the thing is not loading. So uh, total, that's going to be a 14. Okay. So you make your way through and you can kind of figure out the pattern of these woods and you find a a little bit of a clearing where the trees aren't so close together. It's just a flat path um, of just grass and everything. And you think this would be the best spot to just kind of lay low um, for the night. Sorry. uh, It was a 16. I don't know if that changes anything, but sorry. No, this is like, this is like the best spot for you. Perfect. Um, All right, boys. I believe this, uh, this will be the best spot to set up camp. Um, Let's see. Uh, I would like to, Let's set up a fire here, and then we'll uh, discuss who's going to take watch. Oh, that sounds good to me. Uh, do you guys have stuff? You guys have explorers and adventurers packs, right? You're able to make a fire with your equipment on you. Yeah, I have ex- yes. uh, explorers pack. No, I have an entertainers pack. So. Yeah, I have, a- I, I have an explorers pack that comes with a tinderbox. Yeah. yeah yes. Yeah, so. Okay. So you guys are good. Uh, Go for it. Zippy. So you, you guys need to gather some some stuff to start it, or what are you going to burn to? Oh, I would love to. Yeah, I would love to some, gather some some, some twigs. Uh, I I I have a keen nose, you see. Not that that would help with twigs, but but I'm sure I could sniff something out. <laughs> that that twig smell. Mm. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, yogurt and um, yogurt and blackjack. Could you uh, give Zippy a hand? Uh, yeah, yeah. We we help Zip all the time. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, yogurt. Yeah, yeah. Let's help. Um, 
so blackjack and yogurt and zippy you go out into the woods uh to gather uh some some twigs and, and sticks to make a fire while darian and normandy are just back at base camp um all right uh yeah i'm gonna kind of prepare like a small little like pit basically um for us to like set the fire up in um yeah, just let me know when they're back. <laughs> when while he's doing yeah. that, while he's doing that, I kind of like stretch and I sit down and I pull my cord in and I say and I yeah, I just start kind of playing quietly, just adding some nice atmosphere, some ambient music. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Zippy, Blackjack, and Yogurt, the trio of all time, best trio. <laughs> um, the the fuzzy furry pals. Uh, you guys are picking up twigs and just like any branches loose branches from the trees uh and blackjack turns to you zip and's like oh man quite a day eh, zip didn't think we'd be doing this when we woke up this morning huh oh, oh, what a day you sure are right uh, but do you think we can really trust trust these two gentlemen hmm. i don't know hmm. let me roll <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure as if <laughs> they're kind of shady, shady folk. Uh, they, yeah, yeah, real, real shady. They, Especially that Normandy. He's got all them tatties. I mean, uh, uh, tattoos. Uh, yeah, yeah, tattoos, you moron. Yes, and he was quite rude to me, but I think, I think I have forgiven him by now. He did apologize. Yeah, he charmed you, Zip. That's invasion of privacy. Yeah, it, it just, it, it, he got all up in your head. It makes me think like he's part of that. Remember that. That arena we were going to, where they have all the animals. What do you think he's part? What 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 if he's part of that? Oh man, yeah, he might be a part of the zoo. Man, jeez, I never thought about that. I I I think we but should we keep. Also, our eye don't on have him. any evidence that he wants to bring us there. Mm, yeah, but... I think I think you're right. Better to be cautious than than dead yeah is what i always say yeah he does always say that uh, yeah he, uh, um, the short time i've known you you say that at least once or twice a day <laughs> well you know me zip just a couple of cards huh that's why they call me blackjack <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh, <laughs> i've been saving that one uh <laughs> just a couple of um, cards <laughs> <laughs> so so you guys are um doing your stuff, uh, picking up sticks, just continuing a conversation. When Zippy, you get advantage on this perception check because you have ears uh, like a rabbit and keen senses, so please roll with advantage a perception check. All right. That is a 7, and then I get advantage, so that one is a 12. Okay. Uh, so you hear in the distance cracking of like sticks, some leaves, you hear something coming, something big and it's like boom, boom, boom. And it's just coming and and it's not shaking the earth or anything. It's not massive, but you can hear something's making its way through this forest and it's coming in your general direction since you guys were talking. Does anyone hear something? Well, because I do. Uh, do, Blackjack yogurt, do you hear that? Uh, let me roll. <laughs> <laughs> I hear nothing. I hear something, though. Uh, <laughs> there's definitely something coming. Sounds pretty big. Yeah, it sure does sound pretty big, Joker. Oh, dear. Should we maybe report this back to our two friends? I don't know. Uh, maybe. Uh, right, what do you th- I, I'm more of a... I, I still don't hear anything, guys. I think you're you're pulling my leg. Is this another goof? I'm more of a one-job, one-time type of person. So let's finish up these twigs, and uh, and that we'll, we'll say we heard something. <laughs> yeah, good idea. We never, never, never half-ass a job, because I got a full ass. Yeah, his ass is so full, actually. <laughs> I, I, oh, I, I, uh, I, I may have <laughs> noticed that. I do have keen senses, yet your ass is a little, is full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe I should check that out. Oh, you think my ass is big, Zippy, don't you? Oh, damn it. It's, oh, it's, it's not. It's, it's, you, you just keep 
cut me down. It, it's, it's nothing. It's, oh, dear. First with the paper hat, now this. Can't we just get I wanna, along? I don't want to talk about this. And uh, Yogurt goes, picks up sticks uh, farther away from you, but not too far. Uh, he wants to be alone as he thinks about his full ass. Um, <laughs> uh, Blackjack is with you, though. As you keep picking, uh, you, you still hear the pounding coming towards you, but you clearly don't mind. Uh, and then all of a sudden, uh, you hear it very close, uh, and you turn and look, and this is very odd. Even Zippy realizes this is weird, because this is a forest, uh, but you see a giant ape, a jungle-style giant ape, uh, and it's just looking at you heavily breathing. Uh, would you mind helping us pick up some sticks? Uh, we were trying to build a, <laughs> build a fire. Uh, you look like someone who could get the job done. Roll, roll persuasion. <laughs> also, I have language in the Bramble Patch, so I should be able to talk Yeah, I know, to that's you. what I'm thinking. Alright, uh, persuasion, right? Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> I got, I got a nat one. For starters, uh, but, oh, no. <laughs> but I got plus four, so it's five. You, um, yeah, that's very bad. <laughs> uh, so you don't persuade it at all. You make it hate you more. Um, it looks at you, Zippy, and since you can understand the animal's language, all you hear uh, is uh, the the low. It's kind of like whispering it under its breath. Um, and this is going to be my best Winston from Overwatch impression, just a heads up. Uh, <laughs> mm, I, uh, uh, kill. Need to, need to kill. He said, he said to kill. I'm going to kill. I'm, he said to kill. I'm, I'm gonna kill, kill, kill. And he raises a fist, uh, and it comes slamming towards you, Zippy. Make a dexterity save. Oh, dear. Uh, 15. Fifteen. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you do it. The fist comes slamming down. It hits the ground where you were, but you, with your agile rabbit legs, jump out of the way, uh, and you're safe. But it looks at you, and it's going to charge. Like, he's going to charge, yeah. Excuse me, uh, was that a rude question I just asked? Uh, I'm sorry if I didn't mean to impose uh, a whole evening for picking up sticks on you. Uh, it, it shouldn't take too Roll, uh... It shouldn't take too long. Roll a perception check. And uh, I'll do one for Blackjack because Yogurt's off being sad about his full ass again. Uh, Blackjack is like, there is nothing wrong with this ape. Because <laughs> he is blind and deaf. <laughs> uh, I got a 15. Okay. You can tell because you know animals and you've never s- even heard of any animal having completely glossy full colored green eyes uh this gorilla's eyes are just completely green no pupils just completely glass and you just hear it talk again and uh, like it's responding to your words and it's just saying kill need to kill everything everything here kill uh excuse me uh are you having what what the condition i think i've heard, heard it being called is uh, greening out is that what's what happening to you <laughs> The gorilla just stands up on its two legs now, beats its chest, and it's just like, kill, 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 and roll initiative, zippy. Oh, do, do we hear any of that now? Of him screaming? You guys in the distance do hear it. But if you, like, if you go there, you'll have to be slotted in into the next initiative because you're far away. You wouldn't... I, yeah, there. I'm gonna... I, it sounds like an aggressive sound, so I'm gonna. Head you, off you guys want to go that way? Both yeah. Of you? yeah. Yeah. Okay. I leave the horses tied off. By the way, you'll get there after one round of combat. Okay. okay. Uh, I got eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, so uh, Zippy goes first. All right, uh, and I have to roll to hit, right? All yeah. Right. Well, what do you want to oh, do? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Zippy. Uh, pulls out his uh, quarter staff, seeing that he can't uh, kind of get around this, and so he's just like, "Oh, Blackjack, uh, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna teach this this monkey not to bully us around." 
Blackjack has already run away. What? Oh, yeah. I... <laughs> so you're talking to air. You're talking to the dust cloud that formed after he dashed out of there, cartoon style. Oh, dear. I imagine he went to pick up some more sticks. Uh, this shouldn't take too long. I'll be able to help him quite quite quickly. All right. And so uh, Zippy pulls out his quarter staff and uh, rolls to hit. Minus one good strength. So I got 14. Okay. Uh, yeah, you hit. Uh, roll damage. Which is the quarter staff, right? Yep. So that's 1d6. Okay. Uh, Plus one, yep. Uh, so I got a six, including the plus one. Plus one, plus one. So that gets eight because you have a plus one attack bonus as well? Yeah. Uh, so you, uh, the, the giant ape was like beating its chest, saying kill, kill, kill over and over again. Uh, and as he's doing that, Zippy takes out his quarter staff, spins it around, and goes up and whacks him right in the stomach. Uh, and you knock the air out of him, and he's like, "Ooh!" Uh, but he doesn't fall down or anything. But you've damaged him successfully. Uh, the ape. I'll teach you to not be helpful around the the, the forest. Hurts. <laughs> Need to kill. And then uh, the ape raises its fist again and is just going to, like, try and knock you out, like, sweeping right hook. Um, And he's going to roll to attack. (laughs) Uh, And he is going to miss. (laughs) So Matrix style, the ape is swinging around after you hit him, and the fist is coming, and you, like, Matrix style dodge under it as it goes whizzing by your face. Boy, I'm sure Uh, glad I stretched this morning. Now, uh, Normandy and Darian, please roll initiative to join the fight, because you guys have just appeared. Uh, That's a 15. Okay. Uh, That is a 7. 7? And you rolled 18 originally, right, Jacob? Uh, Yes, I did. Okay, so it'll be Zippy, Darian, then Normandy. So, Zippy, uh, you're up. Do something, and Darian, you're on the deck. All right, so, uh, yeah, I'm just going to continue uh, with, since I, I was successful with the quarter staff before, I'm just going to attempt to hit him again. So uh, I rolled to hit, right? So I got an 18, and again, <laughs> so that should be... And then, roll damage. Yeah, I got a one, and that's a three, right? That'll be three, yeah. yeah. That's really bad. (laughs) But it still damages him. So you go jumping around behind him, smacking him in the butt this time. Uh, He lets out a little yelp, uh, and you do three damage. Uh, Darian, you're up. Um, So Darian's still not feeling... uh fully like himself yet uh, after the the cavern doesn't want to get too close to this so I I draw my bow again and uh, yell out to Zippy gosh Zippy what did you do to piss off an ape and then I uh, fire a shot off at it Uh, okay roll the hit Uh, that is going to be a 17 12 plus 5 okay uh, you hit, <laughs> yeah, completely, <laughs> oh, sure. over the top. All right, uh, and that is going to be uh, eight damage. Holy crap, you guys! Okay, nice. One d eight plus three, and I rolled a five. Okay, this ape. After you shoot it, uh, you see the arrow pierce near its heart, uh, and and. It just, like, roars, and you can see it's, like, blood is starting to pool out of its mouth. It is not looking great. Uh, Normandy, you're up. Okay, so does any cantrip take uh, a main action to do? Uh, some do, some don't. It depends. Okay. Uh, oh, darn. Okay, then in that case, I just, I say... Yogurt, we could really use a hand over here. There's a giant ape, if you didn't notice. And then I go and I just use my rapier and I'm going to try to stab this thing. 
Yogurt's dust cloud that he left from his cartoon running away is also left there. He ran <laughs> That's too? That's you're talking to. Darn. Yeah, him and Blackjack both ran. Okay. And nobody was looking. Okay, I go to stab him. Okay, go for it. Uh, okay, yeah, I got him. 18. Yep, you got him. Boom. This is not the best ape, you guys. <laughs> Okay, and that's a D6 for my rapier, right? Oh no, it's a D8. Sorry. Uh, seven. Okay, uh, seven damage. Normandy, how would you like to kill this thing? I'm making these way too, way too weak, you guys. <laughs> I, I gotta up it next time. I did almost kill Connor earlier, though. You almost one-shot me, man. <laughs> I did. I didn't think. I thought this would be harder because you didn't almost have spell slots and everything. You guys were all weak. Instant kill. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, how do you want to kill this thing, Normandy? I, man, do you know what? I just, I stab it. Yeah, I, you know what? I just, I run it through and just pull my blade out and push it down with my free hand. Okay, so you run up to this guy. You jump as you two-hand just stab the sword right into its chest. Uh, the ape has just been getting beat, beaten left and right, uh, so he doesn't notice this one at first. But then he looks down, sees you on top of him. You give a little wave as you <laughs> pull the sword out with a kick uh, of his body. He falls over, uh, and you have killed a giant ape um, and successfully done it. Woo! Congratulations. And I instantly use prestidigitation and wipe the blood off my blade and sheath it. Ooh, style points. <laughs> Just instant clean blade. Oh, it's a uh, shame. And you see... It's such a shame. He could have helped pick up some sticks. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Well, <laughs> we do have dinner, though. And I, uh, I walk over and I start uh, skinning the gorilla. As... <laughs> of course. Zippy is so pure. Uh, I'm, right. I'm, so as you're I'm afraid I'm a it. vegetarian, so I'm gonna have to pass. Hold on, hold on. What the heck was that, apes? Oh, I guess. Well, hold on. Wait. Do do I know that apes don't are not from this forest originally? Yep. Okay. I think all of you would know that apes belong in jungles, not in woods. Okay, and I say, hold on. Where did this thing come from? Uh, did it? This is crazy. We need to we need to find out where this thing came from. Darian, can't you track it somehow? Here's here's the thing, um, Normandy. It's late. We've already had one hell of an evening. We need to rest. We can't keep searching for fights. We need to take time. We it we can look at it a little more in the morning if you'd like, but for now, I think we just need to find some rest. Blackjack, yogurt, get your fat asses over here. <laughs> uh, Blackjack and yogurt peer around a tree and they're like, oh, uh, sorry, fellas. Uh, I was picking up sticks over here. Didn't realize you were killing an ape. <laughs> yeah, d d d didn't notice at all. How many did you get? Already, did we well, get enough? Mosey on up. You can see they're both holding a bunch of sticks. Oh, beautiful. Uh, he's gathering. All right, well, how about you three go start the fire? Normandy, just keep lookout for a moment while I prepare this gorilla. All right. Oh, this okay. ape. So, uh, yeah, I want to skin it. I want to save the hide. Um, and then also, like, uh, scour some meat so we can cook it and eat it. Yep. Uh, so you're skinning and carving this ape. Uh, as you're doing so, something catches your eye. Specifically, it's their eye. The green, glossy eyes of this giant ape, all of a sudden, they melt away, uh, and there are no more eye sockets. Like, eyes in the eye sockets. I the don't... Eyes, like, melted. I heard eyes aren't um, the most tastiest part of the, of an ape anyway. <laughs> that's, a, that's a fair point there, Zippy, but I will say that is not normal. Um... Yeah, so that happens. But then you can add some ape pelt to your inventory, uh, Darian. Uh, as well as, like, well, just meat. You have the meat ready. You got a lot of meat. <laughs> Write that down, too. <laughs> Some eight meat. Write down eight meat. Um, and, yeah, no nothing else occurs. Everything's still quite calm. Um, so as you finish that up, you guys come back to base camp, and you set up the fire. It's nice and toasty. 
Uh, and yeah, what do you want to do now? All right. So here, let's. Uh, I'll cook up some of this meat, and then why don't we uh, pack it in and take a rest for the evening? Now, actually, I do. I'm able to uh, actually stay awake all night. <laughs> I can just uh, meditate for a few hours. No, I, I honestly, I can. If I meditate for a few hours, just being semi-conscious, I can actually keep watch for the evening. Uh, and Including. I'll feel- be just in- as rested. Including w- during the time that you're meditating, you can still be fully alert. Yes, I uh, I stay semi-conscious. So any perception checks, or <laughs> sorry, uh, so any uh, so any type of noises or anything that might come rolling through, I'll be very aware of. And it's only for four hours of the night. Doesn't that ever get a little tiring? Well, I don't have to do it all the time. I do like to sleep on occasion, but really, I don't ever have to sleep if I never need to. Then what's the point of sleeping for you? Well, sometimes it just feels a little nice to fully shut down for an evening and so what I you're know, saying dreams is, are rather fun. You're so you don't I, I like shut... to have those, but it's not essential. You don't want to shut down tonight, is that it? With everything that's got on, gone on no. I <laughs> really I don't. I I'm still really nervous. What with, does it take then? Like Normandy said, and like you noticed, this this ape is it's not supposed to be here, so that's odd. We were stabbed in the back by Beryl, who for some reason might be working with the guards of Orum, and we just finished a raid, a very illegal raid, from what I understand. So, I think we're currently wanted felons. So I'm not quite in the mood to uh, fully unwind. <laughs> Uh, Seth, would yep. would uh, Normandy recognize any kind of um, religious uh, or historical significance with these green eyes? Uh, you can roll history check if you'd want. Okay. I'm th- Normandy's thinking. Hmm. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, so way back. Uh, in your in your monk readings way back in time uh, on Comcloud Island, you do remember, recall running over something about green eyes and beasts uh, and, and how they'd be controlled. Green eyes were a sign of like the controlling power of a certain of a certain like uh, amulet. Um, but that's about all you remember. But you do remember green eyes, amulet controlling. Mm. Okay. The main things. I kind of clear my throat. <clears throat> Sorry, Darian. I, I totally agree with all, everything you're saying about keeping watch. Um, but before we we do that, before we turn in, Zippy, did you notice anything? Did did the ape do anything unusual besides attack you? You mean besides helping out, uh, gather some sticks? Mm. Oh dear. Oh, what did he say? Um. Uh, he certainly wanted to kill me, uh, and he was, he was most definitely angry. Uh, other than that, um, I'm not too sure. I, I was mainly, I'm a one, one job at one time type of person. This is quite difficult. I turn to Darian, and I say, how about you? Would you know anything about that? Um, let's find out. Uh, what should, what skill should I roll, Seth? Uh, you can roll uh, history as well. Oh, that rolled off. Uh, that is only going to be. Oh, that's a minus one. That's a ten. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're from the Feywilds. Uh, you don't know too much about these things. Uh, you only know Feywild stuff. Mm. So you've never really heard of this phenomenon or come across it before. All right. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry, Normandy. I've. I've got no idea. But like I said, I feel like we're coming onto something much much more problematic. I'd rather I'd rather look into this more in the morning if it's all right. I'm silent for a moment and then I I say All right. I'll take second watch. Okay. So you guys all go to bed essentially except except uh, Darian cuz he doesn't need it. Um, yeah. so you're meditating, you're holding watch and you're all dreaming, uh, or at least Zippy and, Dar- uh, and Normandy are, uh, and Zippy inside your dreams, 
you're just kind of you, you you're dreaming about yourself floating in a black void and all of a sudden you just hear a voice an echoing voice say awake 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 and then uh but you don't awake. <laughs> so you just keep dreaming. <laughs> okay. uh, but that's all you hear. And then it never happens again in your dream. Uh, then who, so you're watching for as long as you can, uh, Darian. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'll take watch for the first couple hours. And then when, uh, Normandy wakes up for watch, like I'm, I'll go into, uh, the meditative state. So I'm still kind of keeping watch with him. Okay. Uh, so you do the first watch, and then you switch over, and now, uh, Normandy, you're watching. Uh, and as the sun is rising, uh, and you can see light passing through the leaves now, lighting up the forest around you, um, you start hearing a lot of voices in the distance. And you see uh, two men come running through the woods, and they stop, and they turn and look at you, and these two men, it's both humans. Uh, one is very tall and slender. The other one is just, you know, regular, normal build. Uh, but they turn and look at you, and they're wearing these cloaks uh, with a certain symbol of it, uh, the symbol of Salem. Uh, and they turn to you and look, uh, and they're like, uh, are they the bad guys? No, I don't know. They, they might be. I stand up to my feet right away. Uh, with my hand going to the hilt of my sword. And okay. I, I stand up as well. The the shorter one asks you guys, and he's like, Hey, uh, you guys, uh, did you poison someone recently? Real quick? Poison? Uh, no. We've been sleeping here all night. Okay. Uh, weird. Did you see anybody come through here then? Uh, yes, we did. We saw them run that way. And I point towards Orem. Oh. O- Orem? Yes. Uh, okay, I-, I I don't really need that information. Uh, okay, bye. The one runs, and the tall, slender one just comes walking to you guys, and he just looks at you with a cold stare uh, underneath. Uh, he- you can't tell his-, his real expression, but you can tell it's somber because his expression is being hidden by his large beard. Uh, and he just looks at you guys, and he's like, mm, you guys don't seem normal. Well, that would probably be accurate. Wait, does he say that? Yeah, he says that. Oh, sorry. Okay. If I was normal, then I wouldn't be Zippy. <laughs> Zippy? <laughs> well, they say you can make friends at any time. Uh, hi, Zippy. Uh, I'm Stretch. Nice to and meet you, Stretch. He reaches out his hand. Uh, what are you two's names? I'm, I'm Darian. Darian? Nice to meet you. What about you? I'd like to do an insight check on this guy. Okay. Can I? Sure, if you want. Okay. I just, yeah. Ooh, ouch. Nine. Uh, he just seems like a really stoic and lazy guy. <laughs> um, but he asks you your name. Yeah, yeah, okay. If I may ask, why are you running through here? Oh yeah, let uh let me get to that. Uh uh you guys should probably leave uh, cuz we're the Greeters Guild and uh we have to finish some business real quick. The king's been poisoned of Orum, so uh you might want to get out of here. Wait, oh, the, well, the king the king of Orum is dead? Uh maybe soon. That's why us Greeters Guild are here to uh get an antidote. Greeters Guild? Anyways, That's uh, what I should probably get back to well, that. It was nice to meet you well, guys. Wait, uh, wait, I'm going to head over this we can help. We are we we are very capable fighters. We uh we have proven our mettle. Let us help you. Uh why? I'm rather skilled actually at navigating a forest. I'd I'd be happy to assist. I put my hand on Darian's shoulder and I say, This is the best tracker you've ever seen. He can track a squirrel through the clouds, mate. He is like just a cut above the rest. You need us. I'm telling you. Guys, listen, if you want to get into the Greeters Guild, this is not an interview. Uh, anyways, if you really want to help, if you really want to help, come with me. If you don't, whatever. We can use all the help we can right now. Anyways, Greeter Hild, ho, see ya. <laughs> and he walks off. 
And that's where we're going to end the episode. No! <laughs> oh, no! Greeter, Greeter Guildhouse!